God, it's Friday, the new day for real talk. So join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for real talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal, only on Styles FM. Daddy, I'm a general. Good night and welcome to the Father's Day edition of Real Talk. You know it's on Styles 96 FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 on the FM dial. I'm extremely elated and excited tonight because it's Father's Day on Sunday. But you know what? Tonight, I'm celebrating the daddies out there. Because father is a name that, you know, yeah, everybody say father, I'm a father. So because he brought the sperm that merged with that egg, he is your father. Automatically. But I want to big up the daddies, the fathers who know what it is to be daddy for a child or for some, for some children. So tonight, it's big up, big up, enough love to all, all the wonderful fathers who have stood by their responsibilities. I heard Cassidy with some songs tonight, and trust me, I feel great. Because there are fathers out there who I know you don't get the acknowledgement that you ought to get. And there are people who treat you like you're just one sperm donor when you're really not. So all the daddies, all the daddies who have done themselves proud, you've done all the best you could, you're doing all the best you can as a father to ensure that your children know what it is to be fathered, Trust me, Lady Clear and the entire staff of Styles FM just want to be going up tonight, unapologetically, hands down, before we go into the show, all the Styles FM daddies tonight, I want to just love you up. DJ Prestige is my co-host tonight, and he is a daddy, and I'm, I have no doubt he's a wonderful father, aren't you? <laughs> That's how Big up your baby story. father for your big But girl. anyways, yeah. let yeah. me go. If <laughs> no baby father, my yeah. daughter is 26. Big up your baby Don't father. That. Big up your baby father. He's a very baby father. That's your baby, baby father. Your baby father. No, sir, we're not going on the road with you. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> you're a troublemaker. Big up your daughter, daddy. Let me say <laughs> to for your another styles, mm -hmm. daddy. Who is that? No, daddy, rude man. Oh, uh, <laughs> and oh, I can yeah, tell father. you something. Oh, when he's one of the persons who yeah. allows me to realize yeah. that children can have them fathers weak, because I know, mm -hmm. I know that Moeni and I trust me have him. They have him weak, seriously. Yeah. And I think Mo being the first one. Mm -hmm. He can admit, if, he, if he's honest, he'll admit it tonight, mm -hmm. that his daughter has him weak. Okay, move on now to, to, to Daddy Road. Yeah. That was you, right? Yeah, move on to Daddy Road now. Daddy Road now yes. is, a, is another story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but big ups to all the stars, fathers. I know Digital T. Mm -hmm. Oh, forget them all right now, you know. Yeah. DJ Stain them up. DJ Club. Chungy. Club. Club about. <laughs> oh, DJ who? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, troublemaker. Uh, uh, I don't think he has yeah. biologically gotten any yet. Yeah. But if mm. one is in the making and we don't know, Chong, you big up mm. yourself. We're not, yeah. we not trouble, we're engineer. Um, we are leaving him alone. Da da Daddy. <laughs> da da da. We want the show to go good tonight. Yes, we don't want right, to cut off. Right. No cut off. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a, you know, yeah. you never know what's in the making, you know. Mm? It's just timing. The we timing. don't, don't want the show, it. but we move on. We going to move on. Twins. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Twins in want, you know. Twin. Yes. Whoa. And of course. That's nice. Um, who am I leaving out? Oh, hmm? my God. Oh, which which stars DJ You never called my out? name. I said DJ Prestige, my co-host. Yes, I did. You did? Yes. Pan one on. Every day is one, right? Every day, yeah. Yes. Colin Anthony. 
calling Anthony. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Call you, call Anthony call you, call you have to call him name. You have to call him name. Ten times. Ten like, times. Yes. Yeah. Call him Anthony. Call, call him Anthony. Anthony. Call him Anthony. Anthony. Call yeah. Anthony. Yeah. Call Anthony. All right. Pick up daddy. <laughs> and um, yeah. hmm? what am I leaving out from Styles? Oh, my goodness. I don't want to do uh, that. It's that not call names uh, now. Uh, no problem, right? Father what Jacko. What am to King Mitchell? King Mitchell. We don't leave, the, we don't leave King uh, Mitchell alone. King Mitchell. I leave. Um, crown, crown Prince of Father, yes? Yeah, me, we don't know his prince, know, yeah. Yes. yeah. But yeah. let me now say to all mm. the fathers who listen to what this program. What happened to Louis? Louis. Louis, you see yeah. me start leaving out people. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, Louis are daddy, man. Yes, mm. all the styles, FM DJs. Mm. DJ Dollar Coin is a mm. daddy. Mm. Um, all the other DJs who just love up on the children. Them, yeah, man, big up on yourself. And our listeners. All our fathers, real daddies, mm. who are our listeners, we want to love you up tonight. I'm loving you up tonight. Keep it up. Keep the great job going, yeah? Yeah, I want to big up Mr. Joseph Lindsay. Ah. Yeah, that man there. Yeah. Living in the United States of America. Winston My Alexander daddy. Ferron. Mm. In St. Thomas, mm. Whitehall. You've been never big up for me, Father. You don't remember father. your father. I, I would have remembered. <laughs> 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 and and David Lewis in St. Andrew. Mm. Yes, big up on yourself every time. Enough love, all right? So, mm. before I give you those numbers, before we go to that break, um, let me just say acknowledgements are in order for mm. all our listeners who are locked in already. The, like, the text line has full up already. All right, Andrea. Javine, Landscaping, New York. Um, Nyla is on already. Who else is there? Cassidy, there are a whole heap of people coming on already. Good, good, good to have you guys. Donald, of mm. course, never leaving us out. Our friend Dwight is also with us. Um, Camille, Camille in Long Road is here. Uh, Lady Shan Hartel is also locked in. So it's really great to have you guys on board. And I'm going to give you a few minutes after our first break to just give some shout outs to those fathers who really outstanding and tell me something that makes him really really outstanding lady neve why you once a sex you're a twin i swear you're a twin good night to you too and to all the stars fathers she said happy father's day to you when it comes thank you and on their behalf lady neve sexy like chicken don't it mm. yes sir all right so um let me just tell you those numbers to hook us up, and we'll give you more after the break. So if you want to call in tonight and to give just uh, a shout-out to the fa a father who is outstanding and give us one reason, what the most important reason to you why you would say he's an outstanding father or the most memorable thing, that number, of course, is 453-1444. And as we go throughout the show, that's the same number you would call, a regular call or text message or WhatsApp call, um, sorry, WhatsApp text messages only. So that's 876-453-1444. The overseas number is 954-338-7973. Please feel free to be a part of our show tonight. We do this just for you. And of course, remember, the show is broadcasting live from 4 Brownbrook Avenue, Port Antonio, Portland, Jamaica, West Indies. All right, and we do this, this every week, Real Talk, just for you. So make sure you stick and you stay with us. We want to give you those on-the-go numbers before we go to the break. The USA on-the-go number is 712 8322772 in the UK it's 0330606944 in Canada it's 6479579637 i got a minute and in that minute i know i can load up all our social media peeps who are locked in and of course we want to say um good night and welcome to to all the people from Portland who are locked in, all those in St. Mary, St. Anne, St. Thomas, all, St. Mary, I said St. Mary, right? Yes, all across the island of Jamaica, you're tuning in via the World Wide Web or you're tuning in to your dial, FM dial. Welcome to the show. And we're going to take our first break. It's now 9.30. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal. Stick and stay more when we come back. 
Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266. We regret to inform our Styles listeners that due to the COVID-19 pandemic, there will be no fan fusion party outside. Hmm. Now that we got that out the way, let's tell you the good news. We have been a fan fusion radio party Saturday, July 11th, live on Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Also online at www.stylzfm.com on the Styles FM app and TuneIn Radio. Memories only live like people do. All your Styles FM DJs will be live in studio playing songs from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a neighbor to tell a stranger. Fan fusion. Radio party is on. Make sure your mask up and floss up. This is quality entertainment you don't want to pass up. Live on Stars FM, Saturday, July 11th. The world listens. Yeah, this is Jatty the Reggae Best. Join me alongside Jatty Jr. right here on Styles FM each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Ska, Rocksteady, and oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily, Lily, Lee. And remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Shake it out. Right to your Styles FM. Yes, the thing there. Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back, guys, to Real Talk. You're listening to DJ Prestige and Lady Cleo. And, of course, our engineer tonight is Cassidy, the silent assassin. Pictographer, videographer, photographer. Any other graphers? <laughs> in the making. A whole heap of other graphers in the making. And, of course, twins, I'm sure. We are, we are, we are predicting it. Twins, twin boy or girl. Boys, okay? Two well, boys something to carry well, on there's something the name. The well, there's something for the way. Da-da-dee. Well, there's something for the way. Well, there's something for the way. All right. I'm going to be one of the godmothers, right? One of the godmothers. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay, just checking. Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. You're a good money, so <laughs> thank you. You and this money, see. <laughs> Clap you want. Yeah, you want All to right. be a godmother. So you're a good money. <laughs> Would I want you to be a godmother for any one of my oh, you them too? Oh, Jesus. You're boy. a good money. Tell me, call Payne and say, Pitney wants shoes. Be <laughs> 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 <Me> good. Pitney wants shoes. Yeah, be good. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, guys, so our social media pages tonight, you know, we have the YouTube page that um, persons are able to go back and see the v- shows after we have posted them. All right, so you can always relax if you didn't get a chance to see this one or to hear this one tonight. 
and you want to look back at it tomorrow, then it's there on YouTube along with other shows, right? So you check out Styles FM Radio on YouTube. For Instagram, folks, follow us at Styles FM. And of course, for Twitter, you can follow us um, at Styles FM 961. And Facebook, it's up live. All the Facebook people, big up on yourself. Yeah, who do we have there on the Facebook connection? You remember, you can check us out at Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page on Facebook and you can leave your comment there. Cassidy, I want to see who is on the Facebook live. All right, in a moment, I'll be able to tell you. Big ups, big ups, big ups. Okie dokie. All right, so tonight I'm just like super excited <coughs> for many reasons. Yeah. Yeah, many, many reasons. And one of them is because it's Father's Day, Daddy's Day on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've seen some... Is it tomorrow or Sunday? Sunday. Sunday or Father's Day? Yes. I've seen some men whose lives have been changed the moment they got a child. Like, seriously. Mm -hmm. And not only have <coughs> their lives changed in terms of how they view things and their perspective and how they act... But in relation to the how oh, oh, soft, softer their hearts have become to these babies, and, and and when you see them, I've seen fathers walking their young babies in the early mornings, and I've, it just warms my heart and just melts me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, just look at that, you know what I mean? And I know fathers who even had twins, yeah, who they changed diaper and it was not a problem. Mm -hmm. They change them, they feed them, they bathe them, they do everything. So, mm. you know, there's something special, something really, really different about a daddy who has been there from the get-go, before birth, after birth. You don't neglect the child. You know how the child eats, how the child survives, how the child functioning. You know all of this happening. When the child's sick, you're there. When the child lose a tooth, or grow a tooth, you're there, all of that. I'm you're if you there. tell you, if you tell you. Yeah, so I really, 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 really have a soft spot. I love Mother's Day, don't get me wrong. I love Mother's Day because the mothers, them really special. But you see, the fathers, them were really dead. Mm -hmm. For them, pick them. Mm -hmm. Trust me, there is just something about it differently for me. So, yeah, I'm soft like that, really and truly. So, all the Styles FM listeners, all those who can hear me tonight and you're a daddy and you know you've done a good job from the bottom of your heart and you may I talk to tonight. All right? And the other exciting thing that has me all who worked up tonight is that the Titchfield High School Schools Challenge Quiz team members. Look here. I watched the match between Titchfield and Kingston College for third place in this year's um, champion type, yeah, title competition. Mm. And I was just, I mean, I've been impressed over the years with Titchfield's performance mm -hmm. because, you know, you'd have had those seasoned players coming up, you yeah. know, quite a few of them. You've seen them a couple of years and they, they place the second and when they get the teeth out, <laughs> they come first and all these things. Yeah. But they have really been up there. I think they are the most outstanding rural school and the school probably would have gotten the most, been to the semifinals the most and all of that. So I've really respected them. I never went there. My daughter attended the school, and I have a passion for them um, for more reasons than one. I have many, several past students who have been there, who have gone to that school. And I've seen them perform before on numerous occasions on the challenge. On the challenge. But these youngsters, I mean, I think two of them are fourth formers and so on. I was just really impressed with the fact that they're... They are young and they would have been probably watch coming on as, as a junior team. Yeah. But you see this whole COVID thing mm. where mash up everybody meds and them flex and them psychic and everything. And to see those young men stand up to one quote unquote, because they call these schools traditional or not, not traditional, because teaching is a traditional high school. Mm -hmm. But they have another name that they put these 
school is top guns in. Look here, man. Titchfield High School is a top gun. School and team. School Challenge Quiz team. They are as good or better than many other quote-unquote top gun teams that I've seen. Oh, which, which How the they school played? They go, go up against? K Kingston College. Oh, okay, see. Yes, the Fortis men who have this pride and this thing about them, and mm. they're not a bad team, but the, the way those young men match up to them in the quiz, in the competition that they played, and the other matches that they played, I was just really, really impressed. I mean, they're not they have nothing to be ashamed of. Coming, they place fourth, and I think they have absolutely everything to be so proud of because those young men stood up to Kingston College. Fort Farmer. Fort, mainly Fort Farmer. I think, there, I think mm. there's one six farmer, if I'm not mistaken, on the team. They stood up to them, and I am just really, really proud of how these young men held it together. During COVID, they still studied. Everybody is probably doing other things. They held their focus, and they make Portland proud. They made their schools, their teachers, their coaches, their parents so, so proud. And I say kudos to the Titchfield High School Schools Challenge Quiz team that played in the 2020 matches and those who have played from before. Congratulations to you all. All right, and the coaches, of course, as well, Chase and Mr. Sparks and whoever else helps them out, all right? Yes, Donna, good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Titchfield had a great school. Oh, my well. goodness. Did you watch the match, Donald? Yeah, I saw it, but... Oh, man, you need to go back and probably mother. find YouTube and watch it. My alma mater is in every single aspect of Jamaican life. It's real day in every eclair and of Oh, that. my goodness, man. Those boys are mm -hmm. excellent. They are it's great real boys. bigger than big, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's real the greatest. And that is why we, we have so much different um, organizations that want to push it's real. We, you know what we are fighting for? The next year, mm -hmm. we are win Eastern champs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's really used to be Dan Gargan when it come on to Eastern champs. Yes. You understand? So we want to go back to them great days. And I've, days seen some, when, I've seen some greatness happening too at the last champs events that we had in Jamaica. Yeah, and man. yes, man, I've seen it. I've yeah, seen the man. talent even unfolding even more. Yeah, man. But I want to tell you something, you know. It takes the heart of the parish to help fight with this field, you know? And yes. if Portland really push out and, and look for this field again, and look for the, the whole aspect of how much this field has to offer, offer. in terms listen, man, we are into every single aspect of Jamaican society, and we need to keep it that way there. Yeah. We're some big up. Big up prestige. Big up yourself every time, Donna. <laughs> yeah, man. I want to tell you that we are good for... Well, I'm not going to say nothing now because... Your yeah, actions I'm speak I'm for itself, for, right? I think we are excellent for because hey. it's kind of hard to be excellent when you have six years of mother. You know what I'm <laughs> but, but you did the best you could under the circumstances, no? Yeah, man. I'm a love me you with them to death, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love them more than anything else, you know? Yes, that's good. Yeah, that's how to keep big them up, you know? Real mm. talk. Yeah. yeah, man. And just push them to it. Them is the highest of the highest. Any which part of them can read. Mm. Real yes, talk. Yeah, big up to the mothers, them, too, you know? Because the mothers, them, they do real good. Yes, they do. You understand? The mothers, them, really hold on. And, mm. and I'll, like my child, I'll do a multiple of them, but them really hold on and make sure to them you do good, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, big up. Real Fresh talk. Age. All we right, keep it locked, Donald. Yeah, man. All right. And of so. course, Daddy would say, I hope no woman in capital letters, that is, no enough of themselves on Father's Day. <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't dare, UL. I'm sure they wouldn't dare. All right, Stacey in Airy Castle is locked in as well. Good night, big still, be, still Bell Sterling, a.k.a. Dugu. Oh, Lord. Do I have these names right, Lord? Dugu from Top 
Barking Lodge. And my husband, my baby father, Paul. Is he a good daddy? So we want to hear just momentarily what makes him such a great dad. What him do so that makes us say, so, Jesus and Peter, the best baby father I have in the whole wide world. Yeah, share with us briefly. We give you like 10 minutes. The lines are open. 876-453-1444. Tell us what makes the daddy that you speak of, whether it's your father or your children's father. Yes. Tell us why he is just a great dad. All right, so she wants to load up Paul from Eric Castle, from Stacy. He's a good husband, she said, and her baby father. You know, tell me why, Stacy. You know, tell me why. All right, so, <clears throat> of course, Cassidy, do you have any wishes you want to give out to anybody who you respect and rate as, you know, somebody who is a good father figure? Anybody? Hmm? Daddy Fitz. All right, cool. Big up yourself, Daddy Fitz. Fitz as in Fitzroy. All right, big ups, big ups, big ups. All right, so, and brother? Oh, your brother, Fleshy. All right, so big, up, big ups going out to his brother <coughs> as well, who has been a father figure. So the men out there who never fathered biologically, that is, never fathered a child, but you know that you have played that role because there are some fathers out there, man out there, you know, who yeah. take children, you know. Yeah. You know, feed them seed, you know, mm -hmm. and raise them and treat them mm -hmm. like they own a picnic, you know. Yes. Real talk, you know, I have to rate them money differently. There are some men who know for a fact that this woman give me jacket and waistcoat, you know, mm -hmm. and they discovered it or whatever. And there are those men who still look up, they were looking after them before. And they never discontinued because they found out that it's not their child. Some of them really just took, stood by the children uh, uh, or the child and, and care for them. And you have some of them that to take up the lady, them take up the lady with the belly. Yes, the big man. Belly. Oh, how could I have to leave Big the seven month belly. True. Yeah. And when the child born, they take it like a fit them on. Right. The same love and respect and everything. Yo, right. them man, they have a different kind of heart, mm. different kind of soul. To do that because now it can't be easy mm -mm. you know but they do it big up my real friend damian brown a good father from buff bay all right coming from dwight big ups to you damian brown good night to you gracie in atlanta georgia indiana oh sorry change yes that, indiana indiana you're gonna mm. have to change that because i keep mm. you see i am so accustomed to her and that's where we met you know, so I'm always accustomed to Atlanta. All right. So um, we're giving them the chance if they want to call in to share us a little bit about what makes Daddy outstanding. Just before we go into our issue. Oh, another thing I wanted to highlight that Inspector Wood from Port Antonio. Yeah. Yes. Um, I did hear at one point oh. in a conversation that she was... She's now retired. Yeah, I know. It's her birthday? Of course. No. Oh. Um, I think a couple of days ago she would have retired. Mm -hmm. After serving, I think it was 39 <coughs> years in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. So, of course, on behalf, a very, on behalf of the Styles family, let me just say, do enjoy your retirement, Inspector Wood. A very pleasant you know her, right? Yes. Yes, man. A very mm. pleasant. Spoke to her today. Very pleasant mm. lady, who just makes you feel comfortable when you speak to her. If it's even a high on the road, yeah, she will give you that high. You don't have to feel like, oh, I want inspectors have a fear. You know, she's a very, very warm lady. So I know the force would have been blessed to have her as a part of it, and uh, I'm sure Portland appreciates an officer who makes people feel comfortable. Though stern and have to do what you have to do, but she still provides you with that comfort because after all, we're all human. So I, I really respect her and appreciate her for the kind of policing that she would have you know, displayed and, and brought to mm -hmm. the parish. 
All right, so the boy says, nobody no call for me. Them asleep. I go cut off all of them as jumps start, start a man. <laughs> the boy, happy Father's Day to you as <laughs> well. <laughs> Um, Novelet, good night. My radio family, good night, Putos. Uh, Rastris says, night, night, family. A special big up to my good up, good up Cosmo Orain in Canada for that, for daddy day. Yes. So, Orain, you're not telling me why them so good up, good up and what them do. Huh? Who says, clear, I'm here also. Who's that? I need to get that name. 561. What's the name, darling? I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the face so clearly. Let me see what I need that name. Five six one, send us your name, please. All right. And is it Shakara? I don't think it's Shakara. No, it's not Shakara at all. Um I know this face. Yes, I know the face. Send us that name, please. Beautiful smile. All right, who else do we have here? Tigo locked in as well. And okay, Lady Neve says. I just want to big up. Okay, let me see now. Um, hmm, she shall lose every father out there. She wants to big up my son's father. District Constable Jeff Stewart, you are one of, one of the best. It doesn't matter how small or big things are. He always tries to make ends meet. Oh my God, my spirit does feel good. Loving and caring, that's him. I salute you throughout the years. Enough love and respect to him. Oh, my goodness. Good up, good up, Jeff Stewart, daddy. Hmm. Pick up yourself and happy, happy daddy day on Sunday. Be fat says good night. Good, what's that name? Be fat. Okay. All right. We want to see those greetings coming in or the calls coming in. Remember, we can't take WhatsApp calls, so you got to send a message. Or you gotta call us straight, all right, directly, and tell us what makes daddy such a good daddy. Dan Dan. Dan Dan is a father, ain't he? Eight. Dan Dan, how you doing? Marvin, <coughs> father. You see, I'm not sure all of who are fathers. Mm -hmm. Fitzroy, Jamaican AC Club. Gary. Gary, yes, I was coming to Gary as well. All of our long, long standing stylers who are daddies, all of our newcomers, all all uh, of you. I'm big up all of my birds in them. All right? All of my birds in them, my father. So, really we're not going to start calling him. Gary Bowen. Gary Bowen is in, I think it's Afghan or one of those, one, one of the places where I always have war and bombings. Lord. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of the place now, but. Yes, he is Iraq. Yeah, mm. I think he's mm. in Iraq. Mm. He's one of those doctors, who, soldiers who do the doctor in story, story. Mm. Mm -hmm. So he's a, an excellent dad, um, college mate, so to speak. And he's, um, he does an excellent job with his kids. So oh. big up. And big up my bird, you know, over there in Colombia, Herbert. Listen to stars right about now. Radar. Big up a every time, Herbert. Radar. Yeah. Vivian. Um, <coughs> all of you out there in Radio Land, all of you, daddies, you're nice, you're nice, you're nice. Sonia says good night, guys. Hey, Sonia, how you doing? All right. Um, who else do we have? Hmm. You get a number. Right. Yeah. So. The number eight seven six four five three fourteen forty four, right? Yep. Mm. And nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. The boy, my lord, you open us, yeah, make sure, yeah. Um, Lady Shannon Hart Ill says, um, to a man, she says, big up to, let me see if I get that straight there. My baby father, toe man, oh, toe man, him name, why, why him name so? Can I have big toes or he loves toes? <laughs> Good night, Lady Shannon <coughs> Hart Ill. Toe man is so much most good he's so very good to me i guess she's saying he's a god sent god send me send him for me have son for me i'm not getting that part good mm. and mr nice thank god for more man like 
Oh, like me is it is a man talking or the lady talking? I'm not sure it's who talking. Mm. But Toe Man is a good baby father. Alright. Um big up yourself, Toe Man. I would love to know why I'm named Toe Man here. <laughs> you know, you have some men who love toes. They are fetishes for toes. They love to see pretty toes. They love to kiss pretty toes. Yes, there are men like that. Oh yeah, I see. Yes, I don't know. If that's why they call him Toe Man, but uh, she'll tell me I, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah. so let's see. Well, <laughs> you know, it's like Friday night. <laughs> let's you are in a people go for that to be a busy, so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How <laughs> I, mean, I kick off so early? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> so tell me something. How you been? Yeah. Me all right, you know. You been good? Yeah, work this morning and, and, and I'm yourself? here again. Always. Always? Yeah, yeah. Sure? Yeah. I don't I'm a good person. I don't think so. Very I've been nice individual. About you. Eh? Like what? Can't <laughs> I can't tell you on it. Talk, man. Tell me busy. No, my business can't go break, anywhere from here. No, no, no. After the, after the break, I tell you. Me, I, me no hold no secret. Me no hold no secret. Make everybody here. Everybody here. What you Make everybody doing? here. Yeah. Got anything you're going to say, you have to lie for me. <laughs> Just like when they tell you how much you lie for Mr. Chubb. Like when they tell you how much you lie for Mr. Chubb. Why are you squealing so quick? I, yeah. don't, I don't understand. Put my business on the road. Everybody would like to hear from my business. They can't sell. Blade. That's the first <laughs> I'm seeing Blade. Blade yeah. from Houston. Is it Texas? Eh? Let's see what Blade is saying. Hey, Blade. Mm. Good yep. to have you. What's your definition of a good father? Mm. I want to see if I qualify. Okay. Mm. What criteria do we have to meet? Mm. So, Blade... Really and truly, through the roughest of times mm. and the toughest of times, you stood by your child. Mm. Whether you're with the mother or not, you ensure that your child and you had quality time together. You make sure that when your child was sick, you called, you checked up, you visited it once, once you could to see if your child was okay. When it come on to, to, to medical bills and you had to play a part, you did your part. The education of your child, you have been there, you have read to that child, you've been able to help with homework, you made the phone calls. Yeah, that kind of something is not me at talk about. You're, you're there, you're active, you're an active participant in your child's life and your child's upbringing. The morals where your child learn, the friends and where your child, they're around, you know about them. You know, where your child is at nights. And if your child is in a safe place, you're aware of all of that, whether the people live with you or not. And them something that me a talk about. Your child can feel that they have a father who loves me and is there for me. And the people must know, say, you love him. But when you come on to discipline too, you know, ramp for sure. Say, look, man, you're out of line and you can put the people in place. So me hope you qualify too. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a, not, not, a, a mouthful and a nutshell. Um, Althea says, good night, Daddy Prestige. That sounds nice. Mm-hmm. Daddy Prestige. Mm-hmm. Daddy Rude and Daddy Prestige. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, happy Father's Day when it comes, she says. Thank you, Althea. Yes. All mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. So, I trust my listener. So, I did all those, but at one point, finances weren't consistent, but you were there. Are you still... But of course, you, if the money not, look here now, fatherhood has nothing to do, should have nothing to do with consistency of money. Because the world we broke at times, and it's not all the time we're going to have money rolling. Right, Prestige? True. Except you have a rich girl, like you, we want one. Mm. But you don't always have money, but the point is, you are there, and your child don't even know seeing on the money because the love you give the child. Mm-hmm. The child will forget, say, my father broke. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, and that we are talking about tonight, Blade. You know what it takes to be a great daddy. And if you were there doing what you could do, and become money ration, don't, that can't count for nothing, yeah? Say, oh, money done, so I'm a good father. No, 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 no. All right. But you know, say, you, but you know, say, have somebody, somebody mother, they may pressure the baby father. Sad, them though. sad. It's pressure pathetic. the baby father them if they're not carrying the money. It's pathetic. Right? And, and keep the youth them away. Yes, yeah. man. Yeah, somebody mother is like that. God. Somebody mother then stay so. I want to know on yourself too. I want to know on yourself. Or them? Them know themselves. Oh, oh. Yeah, them know themselves. Uh, uh. <laughs> you, 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 you jump up a while like okay. you. <laughs> yeah, the other thing. <laughs> Father's Day shout outs to the boy. And we come back to that because the call <laughs> is chipping right in. Please Hello, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. 
Yes, ma'am. Good night. Where you are raised up prestige, you know, I, I, I am going to get back to your call after the break, though. Can you hold our call back? I will call back, ma'am. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> it's now <laughs> 10 o'clock, and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Native entertainment, <coughs> stage, audio, and lighting. They sponsor Real Talk. Stick with us. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no-parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town, town, town. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 Come, Styles FM. <laughs> Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to real talk and of course it's your girl lady cleo and dj prestige on your set tonight and i just want to say big ups to my friend lamine in new york city keeping himself very safe i'm sure from covid19 all right so keep on doing the best you can and happy father's day to you too all right now um, Jada is sending Father's Day greetings to her lovely dad, Carlington Watson, one of our avid listeners here on Styles FM. And of course, our peeps on the Facebook Live connection. You know, we got to loud you up and love you up tonight as well. Cydia Watson, big up Lady Cleo, to your co host as well, Prestige. Stacey and Grant, have any friends who should see? Okay. 
Audrey Johnson. Happy Father's Day when it comes prestige. Oh my goodness, things are going to be a prestige. Respect every Haynes, time. Haynes, June Marie. Good night to you here in Florida listening, she says. All right, big up the Florida peeps. And artist tolerance. All right. Mm, Hello. Tolerance. Big up a self tolerance. How are you doing? All right, so we have a lot of peeps out there listening and watching us. Um, and we appreciate that because remember we do the show just for Friends you and with you. Yes. Our call is coming back from our friend who called earlier. Hello, caller. Hello, Lady Claire. Yes, my darling. How are you doing? Not bad. You're sounding nice. Okay. What's happening? What's on your mind? Um, uh, um, I don't have a child. My children father now. He dies 20 odd years now. Oh. But, but he was a great father, right? Yes, he was. He was a great father. Tell us something that made him so great. He take good care of his children. Oh, my great. They did love their father more than me. Oh, they did? Yes. Y you did jealous? Because, not so that. Just <laughs> a little, little bit. Yes. <laughs> and you're, you're at top prestige. They know I say, you know, your money, the, the mother then you know, pick me, then come when in there. Mm -hmm. so you see, I heard him. Yes. Prestige. Prestige, go on home. <laughs> 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 the mother go make the child, cons, the child or the children can spend father day with you with this year. And no much, now if money run, that's all right. But if money no run, she keep the child away. But try and make the money run if you get them. I don't know what I'm going on this COVID time. I may tell you the truth. It's kind of sticky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, Percy. That is Father's Day when it comes. All right, sweetie. Thank you very much. All right, Lady Cleo. All right, sweetheart. Thanks for calling. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. So, yeah, man. this lady spoke about her children's daddy who took care of the children. And you hear she said the children them love the father more than she, mm. you know, and that hardly happens, you know. Yeah. So you see when that happened, that no, you know, so the man is a real, real top, yeah, man. top good yeah. man, right? Mm. Yeah, big up yourself. Mm. And all the others out there like him. All right. I hope, and I know his memory will live on with them for always. All right. Sophia sends us a message. Sophia says, good night from Florida. Happy Father's Day to my father, David Haynes. He's a great father. My mom gave him 10, ooh la la, beautiful kids. Eight girls, two boys. And he was a great father and a great husband. He also was a great provider. And now that he's sick, we all giving him back the care and love he gave us. That's what makes my father the best father ever. Love you, Papa. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Thank you, Sophia. Uh, you guys are just killing me with some love for that is tonight. I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Good night. Hi. Who, do we, who do we have here? Good night. Huh? Who do we have online? Oh, this is Blade. I actually was calling because I was texting back and forth, but I said, you know what, let me just wait and call you guys. All right, I'll, hold on a minute. I can hardly hear you. I didn't hear what you just said. Could you repeat for us? I said, this is Blade. I was texting oh. you back and forth, and I said, let me just go ahead and call oh. you. Oh, wonderful. Hi, Blade. <coughs> so you sound like a young <laughs> father, though. You're a young father? No, nah, man, but I appreciate it, though. <laughs> How many children do you have, Blade? Two, maybe three. Oh, maybe. What a maybe for? The maybe is a long story. Oh, I, I, I figure, I figure you're not so certain and about that one. All right, fine. But nevertheless, how do you find the process of fatherhood? Is it, is it pressuring? Is it stressful? Is it fun? What do you think? What's your feeling? Okay. Okay, so the questions that I sent to you earlier, the comments is just like a conversation starter. It's not necessarily things that apply to me. Right, but no problem. People around me have seen those things on a regular basis, right? Yes. Now, as far as me personally, Yes. we didn't really have like a father to say, okay, this is how 
father we should be. You know right. what I mean? So it's something that we had to figure out on the go. Yes. So the majority of the things that we did is like the things that were missing, we tried to ensure that our kids don't ever miss those. Right, you know? right, right. So like even right now, I'm talking to you in the car driving, and my son is right here beside me looking at me weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are they talking about? You know? Yes. But that's the type of thing that, that we do. So just the same type of mentoring that you would want when you were their age, you just try to ensure that you provide that, you know. And and but that's great. I have noticed that yes. in a lot of cases, like for the people that I know, yes. whenever there is like any type of financial setback or yes. whatever, they don't get to see their kids. That's and that, I think, is something that's really, really, really bad. Because oh, yes. Like I always tell people, you'll eventually make money. You know, money come, money go, but time is something that you cannot Oh, explain. boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you miss out that important time, it could be like a birthday, it could be a holiday, oh, yes. a graduation. You never know what it is. Yeah, That's you never get it back. You can reclaim. Right. You know? But it's like a lot of the, the people right now, it's like, if you're not spending the money, you're not serious. Yeah. And that, that I think, is something that we need to really address because that wasn't really how we grew. We grew where we just want mommy and daddy just to be here. If I want can a bully be for cheer for all of us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Want in a mackerel, it has to be for all of us. Mm-hmm. That, that levels there what we know. But nowadays it's like, no, we need not bully beef. Yeah, we can buy steak and lobster and can now do that. Not now go on to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's like on to the next one. And that's the thing with that. So, you know, me know a lot of that right now where I listen. I shake them head because they must suffer in silence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're growing in a society of Jamaica where man no cry, man no show emotion, man yeah. no, you know, we keep them things that we sell. Maybe we have a one bridging or a one elder who we'll reason with with certain things. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, we internalize all of them things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But real talk, you know, it does affect us. Yeah. You know, it does affect us. A lot of things you don't want to do for you, enough time you don't want to get to you, but because you don't have the local money something there right now. Yeah. You know, or you don't have certain things to drop off or you can't buy the new shoes and the rate them. Yeah. You know, and you know so the mouth are going to load up and you're yeah, going to be like, call all sorts of name out of the book and then so you mm-hmm. just kind of take with yourself because you don't want to deal with that. Right. It's not that you don't want to own your youth. It's just that you don't want to hear that something there you don't want to deal with that little thing the way you I want. You have a very know, valid point, you know. That's yeah. a very, very valid point because there are some fathers who they really want to spend time with the children, but because they know when they go that if they don't have no money to leave, when well, it's to be a problem, they don't bother show up. Yeah, and, 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 and that's yeah. it, you know. <laughs> real dark enough, we just, we just don't want to hear the argument. Yeah. We don't hear the most, so we just hear it. Yeah. You know, it's not that, it has nothing to do with the love and affection of where we use. We just don't want to deal with that stuff, so we yeah. hear it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, what I love to have with you, especially as the man and you have a son, you want poor in your son. You want your son to the next Walter boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You want to do with your son. You want to show off your boy. You know, and vice versa, if you have your girl, you want to make sure that she's protected. You don't want to look a man come take advantage of your daughter and them look at it. Yes. You want to do it, but it's just a lot of little things coming. And like, with this father's day, I just want to say, oh, big up to all of the man that was school dry out. Oh, yeah. just keep silent and take a look at cuss out something there. Take them look at name calling thing that just because, you know, I want to see me you. I want to spend some time with me you. Mm. I know I'm going to get disrespected certain way. I'm going to take it and, you know, I'm going to see me you. Because it's not an easy thing to buy till it. True. And deal with that as a man. But we deal with it and we do it. You know what I'm saying? So big up to all of the father them. Oh, I yes. Well, this father's here, we can't get more than the big piece of chicken. So, you know, so that alone we don't have to get. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something. How old is your son? My son, he's 13, about to be 14. Wow, and that's a very, cru- him, very crucial age. He gets a different type of father in from my daughter. Dad. My daughter kind of protected, she didn't really do certain things. But him, is like I'm a road dog, I'm a soldier that ends up on the road with me. You see all of the things, see everything, all of the struggles, all of the ups and downs. Yes. You know, when, when we're homeless, me and him are sleeping at the car together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When we get the first house and thing, me and him up on the local, you know, blue up bed together. Yeah. So him, 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 the right, that's a witness. So, him, so, so what, what you do you know with saying? that, what you do with that experience now is use the good and the bad, the ups and the downs to let him 
understand the difference and what really, really is happening. So you, you, you put it into perspective for him. Or help him to put it into yeah. perspective. Yeah, man, definitely. Like, I can't tell you this. Any, any young lady were lucky enough to get a youth like a Wow. Youth, one of the most Ooh. vulnerable youth. Daddy, I'm proud of you and I don't know you. I'm proud of you. I control the budget in the make overspend with nothing. Wow. I'm not set them thing up because I'm inside. I'm not set them thing up because I want to see the quality when I'm. If me did feel like him when me did younger, yes. I'm way further in my life. So, so you've actually so taught really him. Dude, you know, zero so problem. So you have taught your son already how to be a man. Yeah, man. And how to treat yeah, a lady. Him, him know them thing there. How to treat no and respect thing. a no. real lady. Huh? <laughs> and how to treat and respect a real woman when he finds one when he gets older. Yeah, yeah. Great. You know, him, him, him have the qualities, you know, you're not going to walk behind him and him the door no open. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Him, him look out the doors less fast, you know, him not pass somebody upon the trees were hungry and oh, have it, them and go get some things. Wonderful. You know, all of them little things that in still and I. Oh you know my saying? goodness, and daddy. And to it, I'm a seat and proud of the fact that I'm too up all of them things. You you know, that, that, that's one of, that, that one of my greatest <laughs> accomplishments. You know, for no other boy, yo. At least somebody who never really had them father in them life on a day to day. Impacted a child's life. You know, was able to raise somebody who yes. has certain qualities where, yes. you know, society will accept certain ways. So, wow. Yeah, most definitely. You've made my night, Blade. Huh? <laughs> you've, you've struck me with your blade tonight. And I'm just bleeding love right now. Yeah, oh my. Thank you. And, and, you know, like I said, we, are, we appreciate it. The platform where you guys have, you know, different, different conversations. I think this is the second time I call you guys. Oh, nice. I didn't nice. know that my name was saved. I was trying to call incognito without my name out here. But, you know, eh -eh. this is the second We stay real. You, know, you guys doing a good work. I'm Thank you. It. Keep on doing it. And like I said, big up to all of the father, them respect. Respect. All of the father, them where I tried, especially right now, COVID. Tourism lockdown, so we know it's in the morning. I'm at the so whole of things that we're not allowed to eat the food off like gone mm -hmm. right now. So we know it's tough, but we come from Jamaica where the first thing I'm teaching is overturn with anamic fashion. Yes, so you know, just go on the whole out, brother. If we wouldn't do it when money I run, nobody do it because the money that I run. Just R keep trying to make real it talk. The right. Real talk, and tell your son that we said, said that he is not supposed to let go of. Any of the teachings that his father has taught him. Yeah, All man. right. In, in my ear, you're still in my smile. All it's, right, cool. I'm not going to talk thing because it's not to them. In, in yes, like that's that fine. But in my ear, I'm not smile. That's fine. Great, great job, Daddy. Thank you so much for calling. We appreciate it. All right. And blessings love. to you and your son and the entire family. All right? Yeah, man. Real yeah. talk. That's a great story right there. Callers are texting in to say big ups to that. Father, they really respect and rating him for his comments tonight. And one of the most beautiful things is when you didn't get certain things growing up, you know. Mm -hmm. And as a father, you decide to look, my children, I'm going to ensure that I give them more than what I got. Love that. Call on the 453. Welcome to Real Talk. Thanks for calling back. Yeah, <coughs> Lady Cleo. Hi, who is this? This is one brother Calvin calling out of Norwich. Norwich, Portland? Yeah, ma'am. All right. Oh, good to have you. Is your first time calling? First time on the program, is. Yes. Oh, yes, sir, man. What Welcome to you, brother. Uh, Carlton, you said? Calvin. Yeah. Or, or Calvin? Calvin. Calvin. All right. Let me hear what's on your mind, brother. Are you, are you a father? Um, not biological. I don't get any children. But you, I'm sure you fathered some. Yeah, man. Yes, and so, so it's in, it's, it's there for you to take as well. Happy Father's Day when it comes, sir. The, 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 the first one called me today. Yes. And tell me that she's sending that change from me. Oh, wonderful. I'm to pick it up today, but I'm not get out there yet. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, man, and the, the other one is here, come from Fruitville. Yes. 
That's mm. that's superb. That you see? You did something right, Daddy. You did something right. Yeah, man, I love them like wow. Oh my goodness. You see that? Mm-hmm. Brother, Brother Calvin. Yes, sir. Don't talk too loud on the ear. But you look at right, change over colour to ear. I call with the expectation to yeah. <laughs> the happy father's here to you when he comes, sir. All right, respect oh. every time here. We know you're used to my wife now, Christy. Yeah, man, every yeah. time. <laughs> now, I was blessed up the guard just one, Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. All right. All the best, sir, and do enjoy the day when it comes. And keep on loving your children, all right? And Lady Cleo? Cleo? Yes, dear. I love your spirit, because I listen to you more time, you know. Oh, thank you. You, sh you sound so brilliant and, you know. Lord Jesus. You, 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 you make me night Aye. every oh. time I hear you. Aye. Are we asking me that can't be? Are we asking, man? <laughs> <laughs> my well, that's my intention, because I'm a loving, free-spirited person who uh, does believe in, 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 in love and life yeah. and, you know, yeah. realness. So oh, I'm glad you enjoy. I hit make mine. <laughs> All right. I want to bless up all the fathers that listen to Bella Calvin, especially from the first woman's church of the Apostle Faith. All, all right. right. All right. Respect. Go from um, Pastor Sudhu from um, Snow Hill. Yes. Pastor that church up um, Red, Red Hill Road, Red Hill Road here. Yes. Mm. Yes, man. And all the fathers from the church, Brother Michael, from Hope, none such. Mm -hmm. I want to pick him up as well. Happy Father's Day tomorrow, sir, and all the rest that's here in me at this mm -hmm. time. Real talk. And and let me add a bridge in the name work and style fan styles again. Um when you work? Work and styles here. Which, every day? Which day? Every day? Yeah, I want to pick up every day. Oh, oh. Don't forget my good friend. Yes. Yeah. For, for your car and for your car and such. I pick it the other one, the man. Father Jacko? No man. I, I think you work with um <laughs> Chongy. Work, work with Shelly. Chongy. Chongy man, Chongy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to Chongy. Oh, yeah, say. My father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, say. Chongy, father. Prestige, you make me love, is it, man? So, <laughs> yeah, give me a father. Thank you, somebody else, Chan. All right, okay, my dear. Thank be. you so much yeah. for calling. <laughs> I, it's lovely uh, hearing from you. Yeah. Definitely hear my voice again. Yeah, I man. look forward to it. Mm. Yeah, man. God bless you. God bless mm. you, too. Huh? Um. Boy, from what? I don't know what is happening from last week until this week and the weeks and I just, just making my night and making yeah. making the program just really nice. Wow. I'm feeling my my, mm. my colors and my people really nice. Chung it on that before time. Yes, sir. <laughs> Speaking it into being. I tell you. Out of this is 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 China yeah. Ed baby yeah. over there with his straight <laughs> ear. Yeah. Yes, Nyla, hats off to that caller. Mm. He made my night too, Lady Clear. Oh, that's Blade earlier. She sent that one in when Blade was um, online. Mm. Uh, good to have you on, Sister Nyla, the beautiful, real talker kind of girl, Nyla. The boy, get him big up them. Uh-huh. Okay. Who else is bigging up? He said, preach, brother, preach. That was when um, Blade was on as well. Lady C, one of my daughters, Jada, says, who's... Carlington, <laughs> you didn't say white. Oh, I'm sorry, Carlington White. I didn't say Carlington White. Sorry, and I know it was you, you know. So I'm not sure why I left off the white. But happy Father's Day to you, Mr. White, from all of your children. Them, enough love coming your way. All right. Mm -hmm. Baby mother message. What's, what's that baby mother message going on there? I don't know what he's talking about. Um, let me see what he's referring to. My kids, them give me all the respect me need, though. So all them people who think their respect is needed, them lucky, need to move our day up to the day before Mother's Day <laughs> and stop with this June something. Oh, boy. Um, I think they're spacing it out because people won't have money to do the two days them see them near, near to each other. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, they need space to get back some more money so they can have their Father's Day. But apparently he wants his own to be before Mother's Day. Huh. All right, all right, the boy. All right. <laughs> Let's see what Kevin is saying in Tampa, Florida. Kevin says, crazy Kevin, my friend, crazy Kevin, my father was half good. He is good until he finds a new woman. 
he don't business with anything until she leaves. <laughs> I usually get a new stepmother every month. Lord Jesus. Kevin! Hi, <laughs> 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 Kevin. Uh, easy. I tell you, hey. he's crazy, you know. Mm. He is just absolutely hilarious sometimes, I tell you. Oh, boy. So it's half good. Mm. But how was the treatment with each of the, the mothers, though? I trust the treatment was something that was worthy to speak of. I know. But every he, month? He says he don't business with anything until she leaves. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, every month. Every month. But you can't get on time. <gasps> fee, fee, fee. To be it. Yeah. yeah. Oh to find boy. out, you know. Uh -uh. I forget Kevin any good treatment. Poor trying to reset. Yeah. Because <laughs> by the time he's going to bed and oh. open his eye again, it's, it's the next month. That woman. Next mother-in-law. Oh. Boy, I yeah. And there are some fathers mm. who never need no woman around mm. them for raising people. Mm. Then come here. Mm. Well, my, uniform. my father wasn't Trust around. Me. Wasn't around. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. To give it that, um, that uh, moral support. Yeah. But he was there financially. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? So that part they kind of missing out of my life. Yeah. You know? Grew, grew up with my mother. Yeah. So apart you know what i mean and, and i want the fathers yeah. of today to s well despite the fact that the women are the ones putting them in that position sometimes mm. of <coughs> thinking that they are only the financial aid mm. i want the fathers to stop taking themselves as just a financial aid mm -hmm. so you're only there to provide money that's not the only yeah but he wasn't living here he was living in the united states yeah man i know and i'm just saying know? that there are fathers yeah. who believe that because women put that in their mind or mm -hmm. the psychic mm -hmm. that if you don't have the money you can't come around. Mm -hmm. So I want the fathers to dispel that notion that they're only fathers, good fathers, if they give the money. Because a child will never really know how much money is around. Mm -hmm. A child can be the poorest one financially, but the love that he gets from his father could be more effective and effective than a man who is rich and the people don't even see him. Mm -hmm. He comes in in the night, Go out in the morning, go to the business place, walk, 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 walk. No time for the picnic. Make, 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 make money. And uh, spend, 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 spend. But the child grows up just empty. Mm -hmm. Have all the gadgets in the world, have all the nice clothes, can travel go far in and all these things and come back. Eat, eat, eat the most expensive stuff and the fanciest clothes. But them empty. And it happens. So it's really, really, really not just about no money, nothing. Mm -hmm. When you have money, can buy whatever for the child or whatever, it's fine. But give your picnic love, man. Love and teach them values and attitudes that will make them remember you as a father. But y y it's th that's it too. But you have some father who come around, they don't have a dollar to give. Most of the time when they come around. You get me, I say? Yes. But then come around and then talk to the youth. You know, reason with you up and level and help with the schoolwork mm -hmm. and then the But as the father leave and the father don't even leave a dollar with the youth, the mother did their quarrel in front of the pit and say, Daddy left and he don't leave a dollar. Mm -hmm. He look a workless father. The mother them to stop to them kind of things there. Eh? Stop to them things there. Eh? Because the father come and I show the love with the youth and then make a and then know you are going to cry mm -hmm. against that now when I come talk about. You look a workless man, you never leave a dollar. What do you expect if you eat? Mm -hmm. You know Don't me get I say? me wrong. Financial support is going to be important. Yes, but, but some of the time we don't have it. Yes, that's true. We and don't have she it. She get up and go look one walk too. Mm. Instead of having five, six, seven more other children after right, that, right. And it could be easier on this child. Yeah. Yeah. So we we gotta think too. We, we gotta think. <laughs> Real talk. All right. So Donald says, big up. Uh, all you mean big up prestige, father of a life. Blade a real big man. Pick up yourself, Blade. Enough respect and love. A true man. A real, real big man for true. Happy Father's Day, Donald, when it comes. Yes, Donald. Yeah, man. <laughs> Nyla is typing in, and we're having a call coming in. Uh, caller, good night. Welcome to Real Talk. You have like a minute before the break, so go right ahead. Good night. Hi, good night, caller. I can't hear you. Good night, Prestige and Kaya. How are you? You're going to have to speak We're up, doing fine. We can't hear you. Are you hearing me now? Just a little yeah, bit You have to step up with a little sexy voice. Step up with the sexy voice. I'll call 
call you back after the break. All, all right, right, sweetie. Thank right. you so much. Yeah. All right, it's now 10.30. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Entertainment Stage Audio Lighting. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Stick and stay. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. People, I did you a monkey this attack. I mean, I tell you, see, this Saturday, the party name, bring back the 90s. So you know the thing, though. Chongy, what you have to say? Yes, people, it's all about bring back the 90s. We give you soca, we give you reggae, we give you dancehall. Any genre you want, we give you straight from the 90s. Yeah, I want to think I want to joke thing. When DJ Mookie are juggling, Chongy are going to juggle. The quarantine now go normal. It's like a overload. It's like a crazy. It's like a sick. Remember me telling you this Saturday, 90s at its best. It's all about the double trouble party. 8 p.m. to midnight right here on Styles FM. 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Tell them about the online link. You know when we say online now, you know for the Android phone them, you can download the app. For the iPhone them, you can go tune in radio. Bring back the 90s. Boom. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. 876-45-3444. That's the number to get in touch right here at Styles FM. Lady Cleo and DJ Prestige. Yes, welcome back. All right, so um, I was just texting in some more about daddies and stuff. So we welcome your messages. All right, so now, of course, we're going to go to our issue. For tonight, another real talk comes your way just about now. Mm -hmm. So we re welcome that person to call us right back. She called earlier before the break. We take that call right about now. And let me give you those numbers again. The international number is 954-338-7973. All right. And the local number, Prestige. 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. And you can send your messages to that number as well, your WhatsApp messages to that number mm -hmm. as well. All right. Now, oh boy. We always hear that, you see, money, that's something, something there, that little, little something there. <laughs> And we've also heard the saying, if the price is right, mm -hmm. if the price is right, and just about every, maybe, just about every and anybody at some point in time would find themselves saying, if the price is right, about whatever issue that they're faced with. Yeah? Whatever circumstance. Mm -hmm. If the price is right. Right. So whether you're a lawyer, preacher, doctor, Indian chief, 
if the price is right. Does it apply to you, though? Let's find out. So get with the hustle. When considering the odds and, the, and if the price is right, is there anything, anything that you would do even though you know you probably shouldn't from a moral and a legal standpoint? Please, if you can share, share. <laughs> when considering the odds and if the price is right, is there anything that you would do even though you know say, well, maybe I shouldn't do this, you know, because it's not morally correct and it's not legal neither, so I shouldn't do it. But if the price is right, do you find that you might very well consider or reconsider? Can you think of any standard or standards or beliefs that you have broken all because of a relationship? You find a man, ladies, or men, you find a woman, and all of a sudden, certain things where you don't never do before, and certain things that you say, oh, me, me not do that. You find yourself a break them standards and beliefs there because of this man or this woman. <laughs> we have a call coming right back. We hold that thought. Carla, welcome back to Real Talk. Good night, Claire. Good night, Prestige. Yes, are sir. Are you hearing me better uh, now? Much better, my love. Yeah. Yes, go right. Where are you good. calling from, dear? Good night. I'm calling from Florida. This All right. Time. I just wake up, so that's why my voice, so I had to drink some water. Oh, it's so nice. Your voice so nice. I like, I like your just wake up voice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's on your mind? So, um, the, 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 the last part that I got was where you were talking about fathers, emotional and financial. Yes. But the thing is, what about those with the jack? It does nothing. Some of them want to come around or some, or they don't call at, they don't even come and look for the child or call the child. Yeah. What, what do you do? With, what do you say about fathers like those? Where I don't even see them as fathers. They're, they're, they're like sperm donors. Right. But what, so you're asking the, the fathers who they do their, they play their role, but they don't call the child or come around. That's what you're saying? No. The ones that does nothing at all. They're dead beat. They're like MIA. <laughs> Missing in action? Huh? Missing in action? Missing in action. Don't yeah. call the child, don't check in on the child, and do nothing at all. Quite frankly, what image just a worthless boy. All right. That is not even a spot, not even a boy. In just what list? And if it is that you know that the child is yours, and no matter what you and the mother have, I think as a man, right, respecting the fact that you put that sperm there and brought that child, you should at least have the decency mm -hmm. to get to know that child. Yes, but you have some of the mothers who cut up the child from the daddy. Look here, in the yeah, same some of the mother them do that. No, no, no. no. Prestige, prestige. Yeah. Yes. I'm not even going to speak about the cut off because what? Yeah. But we have to talk on a little bit too. Oh, yes. No, it does happen. I'm not going to deny that it does happen. But what I'm saying, yeah. what about the case where this child is there? Yeah. You, you can call this child or maybe you're not able to visit this child. Say, mm -hmm. for example, you're in one place, the child is in another place. Yes. Yeah, so wait, what about wait, calling wait. that child? And, and, and what about calling that child? And what about financial support? Yes. Well, when we get this, we just get the Jamaica slang saying workless. <laughs> but, but, but do you find, right, though, that... <coughs> sorry. Do you find, though, that Let some of these men in that situation could be suffering from the pressure from the existing woman where... He's not allowed to give any money, send any money anywhere. Do you think that that could be a, a, a reason why some of these men behave the way they do? Clear. 
clear? Yes. For me, once you once you were part of bringing a child into this world, yes, it's your responsibility. I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you. Of I agree. Be in your life, mm -hmm. I agree. The man must take care and fitness. Mm -hmm. I agree. Totally. We not care who you were married to after the fact or who you were married to because you should have known that when you exactly were going there, when you were going there and it's sweet, yo. But yes. but but listen up. We are gonna talk and we are gonna open it because, as I said before, the man used to play a role in the youth life and some of the time these women. It's cut not off. prestige. Stop cut it using that example. A she talk. said, yes, that's a case. Yes. But she said, in this case, the man just don't call the pitney at all. He not have nothing in the pitney life. He's not in the child's life any at all. He has a no, number no can call. him not calling. No financial, yeah. no financial, no financial assistance. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. What, what's the purpose? That's the, that's in what the purpose. Talk, in in Jamaica, Stang. In, in work list. And, and the same way... I'm going to say the mm. same way women are encouraged or women are motivated mm. to go to the family court mm -hmm. and complain when these men are not doing what they're supposed to do. Mm. I believe Clear. that the men, they must stop. Clear. Sit down. Yes? Clear? Yes, I'm I here. I agree with what you just said. They are the one that caused women to go to family court. A lot of these Jamaican men. We yes, but there are men now. Because what? Yes. And there are some men which are out there who take care of their kids. And the Where women the are the causing the them. The mother fun Thank you very much. Yes. So those men need to go to the court and bring the women to the courts too. It mm -hmm. shouldn't only be a one-way thing. You want to see your, you have a paternal rights to your child. You're okay. looking after the child. Mm -hmm. You're not getting the chance to, to, to be with your child because she feels, say, oh, your wife, she don't like your wife. Okay. And your child shouldn't be going over that house and yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And she's mm -hmm. holding the child because Hostage. she thinks that she's the only one with the right to the child because mm -hmm. she bore the child for nine months. Mm -hmm. But without that sperm, she couldn't have a child. So if the father is doing what he's supposed to do, and is willing to do it, and she's blocking him from doing that, he should take her, you know what, to the courts. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, man. But my thing, the thing is, is when they, these men do nothing and they behave, and then when the child has to work, to get to that state. That's what happens, money, honey. And, 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 and are in these beautiful jobs that make yes, it. Yes, they money. surface. Most of the time, most of the, no, a lot of them surface. Most of the time, this is what happened. The parent that was there for them through thick and thin, they forget about a parent and they turn to the worthless one. The man grateful and worthless too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put. Yeah. That's what happened. There is no way anybody is supposed to contribute to a child to come into this world and leave the child on one parent. One parent. Real talk. I have a son. Yes. And I, will, and I can say, to, I can tell anybody, I maintain this child about 99.9%. .9%, give him everything, emotional, financial, yes. and otherwise. And with the father left. Mm. The, mini, the, 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 the point, the point one percent, the point zero one percent, <coughs> mm -hmm. or the point one percent, mm -hmm. it's like dead. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you, and you never, and you never blocked the father out of a child life? Nope. Wow. When I when when I will say do this do that blah blah blah, mm -hmm. all sort of excuse fly. <laughs> oh. And I'm like what? Mm. I said eh -eh. I said you're not ready yet. Not at all. But you know what I encourage parents to do? Mm. As a mom, do what you must. It's your child. You do what you have to do. In the <laughs> long run, karma will set in on him. Clear, but you know, <laughs> it, it, the, the thing is this: you can only do it. You get to a point where it because as as the child gets older, yeah, the older the child gets, it's the more expensive that child becomes. Yes. And when you have expenses out there to deal with, along with taking care of your child, yeah. you start have to start slashing a lot of stuff. Yeah. And sometimes expensive things that um, need to be taken care of end up getting slashed too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So how oh, oh, oh you feel if you know, say, well, the father is not around, 
for this youth and this youth grew up now in our good job, become a doctor, a teacher, or a nurse, and in our good job, and then now she cling to the father and I show much love to the father. How you feel about that and the father wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that happened all the time, you know that? The, no, the, yes, it does happen, and the truth is, you're going to feel away because you're going to say, I am the one that yeah. came, and I was there to do everything as it relates to this child achieving mm -hmm. what he achieved, or she achieved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, it was like the man that did everything, mm -hmm. while he did nothing. Mm -hmm. Then you hear she come home and say... Then she come home and said, wow. Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy not feeling well, you know. I'm going over there to, 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 to take your daddy to see what's going on with daddy. <laughs> you know? How you feel about that? You get me I say? And the father wasn't there. <laughs> no, the thing is, eh, the <laughs> thing is eh, it, th that's a decision that the child will have to make. Because oh. I will tell you this. Yeah. My father wasn't there emotionally uh -huh. a whole lot yeah. to say. And it wasn't like he was there financially a whole lot to say. Uh -huh. But what? I still, I talked to him. Oh. I talked to him. That's mm -hmm. it. I said to my mother, you know, mm -hmm. he, he helped to bring me into this world. Mm -hmm. But what? Don't think. Whatever you get, he's going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> I told my mother straight. I'm like, he's not going to get what you get. Oh. And, the, and not only that, the level, there's a level of respect that comes into play as well. But how what? If I know that my father wasn't there for me the way he should have, mm -hmm. you're not going to get the level of respect from me. Tons. I'm not going to disrespect you. Mm -hmm. not going to disrespect you. But there are certain things which will not come into play at all. Mm. Because Real I'm well. going to remember the person that was always there. Yeah, you should. Mm -hmm. That's a natural thing. <laughs> Real talk. Real and talk. It's not just, and it's not just financially. Every I'm, alley. I'm, I'm, it's just really irritating that men and some women do not. I would say them just don't care about them picnic. They don't care if they live up a door or if they go up. They don't care nothing. Mm. They could have never achieved nothing. So all them care. It's... You know... It you know, blows me away to think that these men sleep at nights not knowing how their children are doing and leaving their child's care in the hands of just one person, not knowing if this person is managing and surviving. But we have another call coming in, my love. I have one more point I, wish I want to say to you. Yes, another thing. Say yeah, for, go ahead. You know, like, say for example, uh, the woman moves on to a different relationship. Yes. A lot of these men think that, oh, because the woman moves on to another relationship, it's not their responsibility to take care of that child, but it's another man's responsibility yeah. to care for their child, and they sit on, sit on the outside and look in it. They are the, the dunce bad too, trying to play smart. They won't listen to you, know? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. And with yourself a great day. You great too, day. my love. Thank you so much for calling. We appreciate it. No problem. Did I get okay. your name? This is a Carleen. 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 All right. Great having you, Carleen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks All for right. enhancing Big our show. Self, All right. And of course, we have Kevin speaking in again. We're going to go to our Vox Pop, guys, because if, if, we, if we watch this time, it's going to run out on us. <laughs> Kevin says, seriously, a man have an affair, <coughs> has an affair with a man's wife. She gets pregnant and gives it to her husband. You think biological father should visit the child? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, good night, Donald. We're leaving um, the box. Well, the, the discussion you now. Know, I, I, just before you leave, I was listening to that young lady. Yes. And um, I honestly think that she has been hurt. Yes, she has. I feel hurt, that too. I hurt real bad. And. Um, I am wondering if and the pressure is on that, too. that is happening to her. Yes. What's caused by her? Because she sounds like she's a sanctimonious, perfect woman. I don't. I don't agree <laughs> with you. <laughs> that, that yeah, that's not, I don't agree with you. Agree with me, but no. she, she sounds real sanctimonious, perfect. 
No, I don't agree with you. Like perfect woman. I don't agree with you. There's nothing that she said mm. that you could use to say that she is sounding you sanctimonious. You need to listen between the lines. No, I listened. No, don't get me wrong. I but don't know what caused. I don't know what caused and if anything she did might have caused him to walk away. But the point still remain. You have a I, I child. Agree with, I agree with you, you know, in a clear. You have a you have child with a person. Out there, you know. Yeah, you have you a have child. Man out there, you know. Yes, he has so a child with her. Because of the type of woman them with them get involved with. And the reverse is also true. Yeah, man. You have some man who just pack up and go and say, oh, man, I'll come back in them. Right, and so I'm saying. People are, them people are dangerous. But it doesn't matter so what it is. It doesn't matter what happens with him and the woman. They're not together anymore. You have to he take up a responsibility. To Jane, and him, him, him won't have him happy life otherwise and because him can't yeah, stand yeah, her. Man out there with us run away. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that can't be good. Unacceptable. Run, run and leave your responsibility. Run away. Because you have some dangerous people around them while they run away. But you have to take I up agree, a responsibility. But you have a responsibility. Find a way to deal with your responsibility. Mm. It's plain and simple. Well, me not, me not agree with all of that still, but so you're telling me that it's okay for a man to say, me not send my money listen, to our hold on no? Listen. Me not send my money to give her you know, picnic because she's gonna use my money to do something else? That's the no, reason man, that me some not, men no, have. You have some man who just pack up and run away. Because of the family, yeah. because of the people them with them are dealing with, yeah. and them just put something behind them. Even if them have five hundred people with them, the people eh? that they can't be good. It can't be. I don't accept that. Mm. And they're not functioning because of the type of people where them get themselves involved with. Yeah, but the, yeah. The, okay, Donald, ex the kind of people you're involved with are not. The point still remains. You brought a life into this world. You can't just walk away and leave that child and not care about the picnic. You know, Kevin asked a question a while ago. It's not it's it's acceptable. Kevin asked a question a while ago. Come here, listen keenly. You know. The man gets a picnic and a fame. And a DNA proves that the picnic and a fame. We're not going to take hold to the man that we can still stand up for the child. Not true. And if he. Ch no, no, hold on. If he chooses not to continue i would not have anything bad to say because but i can't tell this man it's tell okay you. You have some you have some you have some serious woman out there no man and that's that's ike's a deception just make you run away and <laughs> run away left them all over them out trust me i hear you donald i hear <laughs> you man, big up on ourselves yeah, all right yeah. my dear thank you um, Donald's question is a sorry. Um, Kevin's question is a very serious question. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it, it boils down to the woman. What kind of woman are you mm. that you choose for your happy, so-called happy-looking life to to be maintained, and for your status quo to be maintained, and for your, you know, your pretty little life to stay intact. At, r at the risk of breaking a man's heart, deceiving the man to the highest order, telling him that it's his child, or because you know why the dolly house to mash up, mm -hmm. and the, the, the church be no say the baby mm. is not for your husband. Yeah, church have a come, you know. Yeah, you? yeah, it's have a come, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that can be good, mm. you know, that, that can be acceptable. And who should have the right to the child? Well, the man who gets her pregnant must know him about that because mm. I've seen picnic. Mm. Real talk. Yes, caller, good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Hey, Radio Family and Friend. Hi, Hi. everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you too, my love. I just want to give a shout out to my husband. Yes. He is the good father to four children, uh, four picking Yes. The baby, all when she had 25 in Silla Polish are shoes and shiny. Oh. That's for sure you how good the father he is till he was and even now. Mm -hmm. But then me, we do only cooking, the washing, the ironing, and all of them something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like that you have a head over me. <laughs> but me don't mind it still. Me yes. Me understand. 
You know, yeah. and it's all that if me lick them, them call it daddy. Daddy never lick them yet. Mm-hmm. And if, if me lick daddy, 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 and then I have like a daddy. And you know, when I have like a daddy, sometimes you kind of give you like a touch like you want to make a little, little hotter. Mm-hmm. But it's all with love, you know? Yeah. It's all with love, yes. Yeah. Really so, yeah, me, um, I kind of agree with what Daniel just said. Because you have some, we are talking about the some now. We make when you run, you never remember say you did the some. <laughs> me not get it, me see it, and me know, me understand that piece. Hey, you have some, you have some girls or some women, them Chris and Patty, you know. Mm-hmm. And you see when the man make a little slide, me not talk, go, they go have a relationship. Slide. It's like them two crisps, so they're like a slider for the man now. And them go on some kind of way, and when the man take a walk clear, the family will run the man. Mm-hmm. Make him turn and come back. Mm. The, the family, the mother, the sister, the, the, the family will run the man sometimes, make him run. He now nah look back, he no memory for him have a sperm on the stuff. Mm. So if another man come and pick up that sperm there, and then don't get when a man begins. Take care of that child. Eh? Mm. That's why we fear for brother and sister. Take care of that child. Eh? But the mother, they make the man run the thing quickly. Right? Just because of another penny. Come to that up, me. When the girl pregnant, and she said, You can't run with the child, too, you know. Take the child and run with it, too, as Shakara is saying. Yeah, man, run with the child, too. You can't run with the child till you stop it. Why? Oh, you yeah, oh, yeah, have a pick, take the picnic and run with the picnic. No, yeah. you can take your child, tell, you, tell the mother that you want your child to be able to nurture and care for your child. You want mm-hmm. care for your picnic. Uh, yeah, listen. Mother can have the child, fathers can have the child, father can have the child, do you know? Clear, the man around seem life, seem all good people of life. So go try and live peacefully and happily. Not no wrong with the next man come pick up that child and take care of it because that's what that mother wants. No man, something wrong with that man. No, if he chooses to, no let if he chooses to, to help out with that child because he's with the mother, that's all acceptable. But don't tell me that that man is supposed to come and take up that child when the father is there doing what? What is his role? Him run, see him, clear him, run him, run, see him. No, ma'am, I can't appreciate run. that. Sorry. Well, can't appreciate that's why your peace clear. That's your opinion and just the next person's opinion. Mm-hmm. You have, it just all depends can't on... Can't sanction that. Clear. clear? When me call you, you know, me not really call and talk because me, call, me talk also when me see and me talk my own story, you know. I, I, you I can't about. endorse... A man because him life miserable with a woman or around a woman, him running and left the picnic. Yeah, and no look brother, back pan the picnic, me, check pan the picnic. No send him mother go check right. the picnic, all right, or in brother, or in sister for go check the child, all right? No, sir. And in God. No, sir. Uh-uh. And one mother do this one mother do the same thing too. Something wrong with freedom heart. Stone hearted. But so what about what about the mother who, who pregnant for this couple then and when the baby born, the couple take the baby and gone and do less to save the half a million dollar or two million dollar US dollar. That is her choice. And, and you, that's a whole different that's a whole different kettle of fish. If she chooses to oh, be a surrogate, that's a whole different thing or something or to just be a, a person who mother, mother, oh, has yes, as a child way. and moves on. That, that's different. Anyway, Yes, we have to go to that one right now. All right, my darling, thanks for calling. Yeah. All right, so we're coming out of this topic right now, guys. A whole can of worms open up tonight with this one. Bunny says, I run with my child. Mm. Carlene says, no one is perfect on the face of, the, of this land, and regardless of what Donald is saying. So Carlene says, no one is perfect, so I'm not sure where it's coming from. And foolishness, Shakara says. But we're moving on now, guys, to our box pop, all right? Thanks for sharing in this discussion. So back to the box pop, part two. Can you think of any standards or beliefs that you have broken all because of a relationship? If you were to put a monetary value to your worth, how much are you willing to accept if someone is to make you an offer? 
in confidence for one night out. <clears throat> one night out. And I don't mean one night out to go, go dancing. One night out, just about anything that comes to your mind, if you were to put a monetary value to your worth, mm -hmm. how much are you willing to accept so that someone is to make you an offer in confidence yeah. for one night out? Dancing involved? It could. Eh? I it guess could. it could, oh. but it's not subject to. Dancing. It's not the only thing oh. that we're talking about. To, to dancing, right? yes. yeah. So, if the price is right, mm -hmm. boy, you know, Donald might tell me that, oh, Cleo is just the perfect this or the perfect that. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say it. And Donald is entitled to his opinion. Yes. But I have never put myself in the position where I say, oh, I would not do certain things, but if may I get a certain amount of money for it, then mm -hmm. would I consider it's like, mm -hmm. I feel worse when I think that a person can buy... Put value upon... No, 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 no. Buy my moral. Mm -hmm. Moral. Mm -hmm. My virtue. Yeah. But that's something you can't pay for. You, you shouldn't be giving up or selling. Because when you put yourself where your morals are compromised to an extent, where you are compromising it because of money then, because there are people who will adjust certain viewpoints or, you know, beliefs because they so probably so choose to and they don't feel guilty about it. But when you're going to put money, me no know that money is something there. Okay, so I don't believe in stealing. And I pride myself in that and I will tell the children not to steal. Mm -hmm. And I will teach my child not to steal. But then you're going to tell me, say, Deep down in my soul now, you come and say, yo, Cleo, you're going to deal with that thing, you know, and some money involved, you know, and I'm going to give you, you know, mm -hmm. X amount out of it mm -hmm. if you join me <coughs> to do this mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Then I can't find myself wanting to accept mm -hmm. that offer because... The, 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 deal, the deal is smooth, right? How can I deal you now get smooth? catch. Oh, and it's I get mood, catch. right? Point, you know, see, man, so and, and, and we're talking about we're talking about millions. We're not talking about no hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. We're talking about millions. Business. You get me? I say. So you like you, you find the money in the ATM machine like the other day? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you gotta tell me, you know, say, Cleo, mm -hmm. if you help me touch the money of the car, yeah, then go give you. Yeah. Oh, me this split it half and half between me and you. Not this clear. Me split it half and half between me and you. Not this clear. Eh? Not this girl. You must be mad. Me? Yeah. Yes, Donald. Love you to death, man. We Remember me tell you we Donald, are not for sale. Call me right back. It's after 11. Right back. We are not for sale. That's right. It's now 3 past <laughs> 11. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Nestle sponsors the Real Talk. It gets hotter when we get back. Stick and stay. Mm -hmm. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Planning a party? 
club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And look here, we're talking about a very serious, serious piece of issue. And as Shakara says, um, <laughs> I can't, let me see. Uh, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Novelet. Novelet have a problem. Okay, that was earlier with the foolishness she said earlier. <laughs> I'm not doing it either. You have to think about the consequences. I love my freedom. That's the point. So you said before me, act on certain things. Me always have to think ahead. Some people don't think about the consequences of their actions, and they just go ahead and just do. Like this whole CMU story and maritime story. Look here, the man. Them people that couldn't have, couldn't have been thinking ahead to let what, is hap what happened with them reach them. You can't be thinking ahead of time and them something they reach you. It's crazy. So, because me a coward man, I mean, a lot of facts of me a coward. Me not, me, mm -hmm. not have, me not have no apologies about that. Mm -hmm. Coward man keeps on bone. And when I think that, look, what will happen if, and she says, shame and disgrace, mercy divine. We're not the if thing. We run from that. You don't line it out, it's go smooth, everything it is okay. Have go smooth. What happened if me, if me, say for instance, okay, no, me man. call you, I say, Cleo, you know, so me get a little rake with the number five ass, I go run a track, and them boys say, well, the ass I go win because. Then drugs him. Then drugs him. So. And if you join him on that? More are you with some money so no man put a money on it eh, and eh, 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 you know what i mean don't you know, get involved I'm in not going into that no eh? no no i know no. you are do nothing me, me no care me no want no money after of that me no want it eh? knowingly me not going to join that i'm sorry caller hold that thought prestige you have a caller on the 453 welcome caller good evening good evening good evening sir how are you like I'm not too bad, you know. Soji? I'm, I'm glad you say you run. Oh, it's, it's the boy. Because, because um, the Vox not no, so act like the, the, the topic before. <laughs> because just like how you would not throw water into a hot pot of oil. Yes. Mm -hmm. which, which happens most of the time. Mm -hmm. The girl looks nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. You jump on that pregnant one. You realize, say, Virgin, no. Fire and water, you have to take care yourself when you eat ketchup. You understand? No, I don't understand. No, Why you only leave your child? I don't get, I don't get it. No, no, don't, don't, that, that, that is the thing. It's not a matter of the man alone leaving the child, you know. But the woman also, there are cases. Yes, I get that. But remember, you have a picnic, find a way to support your child. Simple. Yes. Yes, but when you try to find a way, if everywhere you find it is blocked by family members or the mother, what are you going to do? You have the courts. That's okay, the point yes, I'm yes. making. Use all the court. court. No, but not, but not try to tell it to all court. All court. No, do nothing. Because, okay, court is very rare, and then there's a visa, and there's a thing where them fly out and go, and they have to fly out and a plane to go catch you. No, if your hands are tied like that and the child is not here, is what, your car, yeah, no, in, in those cases, those would be exceptions, man. Come on, those would yes, be exceptions. Yes, but, that is what the, but that is what the Virgin was trying to tell you before. When you say you can't really understand all the, all the women and women that are running to beat me. No, but him running away and take away himself, knowing where the child is, having contact with the child, is different from if the child yes. is taken away from him and you don't know where the child is there and all these all things. Right. It's a different thing. All right, and then now there is what the lady said, right? We are there are a lot of people who fight not for them picking and then still lose. 
But you, yeah, you a, have you fought. Did. You fought the good fight, and it counts for something in your own conscience. That's a whole different thing again. You see, you see my thing is, you know, I like to fight for most of the father than when you know we are trying to fight for them, you know. Because you know how um, would I work for me if you run this my business, take on myself. I mean, I want to feel it. I understand? Right. Guilty. So, a few, a few, a few of my fathers are listen tonight, you know. Yeah. Because make sure link up and say, oh, hey, and That's listen, good. That's mm. right. And then the lady call, and it was depressing. Oh, mm. yeah. It was, it, was, it, it was really depressing. Now we can feel our hurt. Mm -hmm. Understand that we feel our hurt, but um, she one of them people where people take on themselves from. If you listen to her properly. Well, that's for you to decide, not for me to decide. Uh, we go for myself, now go and listen. And she right. said nobody's perfect, so nobody is, really. Uh, All right, thank you for calling, Devoy. All uh, right. All right. <laughs> All right, so. <sighs> Carlene says, monetary, let me see that, Cassidy. Monetary, hmm. Carlene. Monetary value. Monetary value does not value no one's life. Life values more than money. Integrity can open up avenues to make money. But money can never buy integrity. Amen to that. It's about honor. It's about self-respect. And in the end, integrity is about having sound moral character and doing what's right. right. Now, we don't always... Thank you very much, Karin. Well said. Now, humanly speaking, guys, we don't always get it right. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, sometimes we get enough things wrong. But the consciousness and the willingness to want to try to do the right thing is what counts a lot for me, too. Because if you know within yourself, knowingly, <coughs> that they're going to poison the horse, or they're going to drug the horse mm -hmm, for mm -hmm, it to win, mm -hmm. and you know that straight up, yeah, that's a whole. That's different from you not, not even knowing, and you got better money on the thing, and mm -hmm. you win the money, yeah. and you're like, whoa, yeah, mm -hmm. and afterwards you know, no, say that's how I go on. Yeah, when so we win the money, we can't think about that. <laughs> Yeah. When we win the money, we can't sit down and Prestige, think about that. You're awful. We have a caller. Mm. Caller on the 954. Dan Dan, is it? Yeah, clear. Go and get this straight, you know? Yes, sir. Go and get this straight. So you're going to tell me, sir, me and I knew you, you see? Yes. I mean, I, mean, I made a short thing bet I came on a bag. I'm going to say, put $20,000 on this thing. <laughs> and I get and, and, and about half a million. We can't, we can't put on the two room for your house, you want. <laughs> you see? <laughs> I mean, I asked me, oh, oh Dan, I know you know, how oh, oh, you know this. He said, I mean, tell us, I mean, send on the drugs myself for the man, <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the man, <laughs> for the ass. You have to tell me, say, <laughs> no, let me get this straight. You have to tell me, say, you're not in it? No, I'm not. Uh, and I show money? No, I'm not. Eh? I'm not. You're not what? Not in it. You're not in it? No. Okay, but all right. So, so suppose, suppose it's it, 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 it tell all them thing there. It, it, it's you know, it's, it's a chance thing. But if, if the if the peer up would be would be mag magnum enough if it come in, you still not do it. If I don't know, that's a whole different kettle of fish, Dan Dan. If you come to oh, me and I, we are oh, friends, I see. okay, hold okay, on, I know, get you. If so, we are friends mm. and I know that you do this kind of business where you gamble and you yes. bet on horses and you normally are winning and blah blah blah, and you come and you say, yes. "Boy, Cleo, you don't know." I got bit on the RC and yada, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's a whole different thing than you are telling me straight up, say, look, I got, I got drug the RC. I'm going to okay. want you to okay. come I be a you. part of it. My context, I my I context now go clear. Okay, I get you. I get you. Yeah, I get you. real talk. But, but, but suppose me to tell you this and later on, six months later, when, when, when they don't put on the two room, I tell you, you know, start drug my drug and ask about it again. No, no, no. Me not calling no parish guns. I'm going to you for life. But but I keep the house though. Of course I keep my house. Me never know. Me not guilty. 
<laughs> my content set me free. I never know nothing about you and your drugs and, and ours. So it's all. Oh, so your conscience not. Your conscience not gonna bother you. Just so no, no, no it won't. It won't. I did not know. Okay. So so what I about the conscience? I thought I just. Is it? I thought no, I no. just genuinely get, was gambling. Because so, guess so what? what? So what? Dan -dan. So, but so let me get it straight. What 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 is it that hurts you? Is it that the, the, the horse is being treated unfairly? Or what, what is it? What, the, what do you want? Uh, put it so hard. Or, or just the, mor the morality of the it? The morality of it. If you know, say, <laughs> me go win this money, not on fair terms and, and honest terms. Now, mark you, I will go and I will buy a cash pot. Yes, man. I'll go and I'll decide, okay, I feel like I want to buy the lotto. Because you know what? Yes. The lotto is at X million and I would do well with the money. Me not go yes. rob nobody if you get the lotto ticket. Me not go yeah. kill nobody if you get the money. So yes, if yeah. I feel like I'm earning my money and I want to take a hundred dollars and go and buy a ticket, I'll go buy a ticket. And if I win, I win. Yeah. If I don't win, tough luck to me. But I am not going to follow prestige, go down a Johnny house or Johnny business place and broke in there and be the getaway driver for prestige. And because I'm not giving some of the money, I go ahead and I do it. I am not doing it. No, man. No, 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 no. That, that's robbery. Rob, robbery is a different de. thing. Hold on there. So robbery like that now. Go down a Dandan business place and go broke in there and take out the vault and, and dig out the vault and whatever. It's robbery. But you're telling me that yeah, when, you go poison, when, you, when you go and drugs the horse unfairly and cruelly and get the money, no, no, that, that no, is what? No, the ass, no, 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 no. Not, you can't say cruelly because, because the, the ass I can feel good on you know, the ass I can feel no, like my damn, 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 damn. Dan Dan. How's that? Where, where's the cruelty in that? Dan Dan. Dan Dan. No, answer me. Where's the cruelty in that? Because the ass I can feel like, yo, I just mean what all my life and I'm finally get it. <laughs> What the cruelty there? Because, because this art, every time, every time this art is in the in the in the in the art on the barn, I was a beating. I'm not even listening yes. to you. I'm not even listening it's to not you. To you. <laughs> Dan Dan, boy, you're something else. Donald is calling right back. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling, Dan Dan. Now, let says Cleo, it will take you out of a poor life, my love. I've been <laughs> poor all this time, <laughs> love. I'm not dead. I'll be fine. <laughs> it will get better, honey. It will get better. <laughs> yes, Donald. Listen, clear. Yes. I have done some serious immoral things in life. Oh, praise Jesus. Yeah, and I've, uh, I've Lord save him. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> the punishment will not get. No. Oh, maybe so. Maybe. The yes. The punishment will not get. No, the karma for them things there, you know? Uh huh. But you know, my love for you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, and I'll go, man. For yeah, dear life. And I'll let go, not you, if you have a minute, you know. No, sir. Eh, eh. Hey, your husband supports, hey, you might listen to that program. Eh, most times he does. He supports you and leave up in your hands to God, you know. <laughs> and I said, I'll get Jesus. You have given me the right person, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you fool every cup. No, I am so not. Because the other part of the Vox yeah, Pop yeah. suits me quite yeah, well, too. I love that show, yeah, man. <laughs> that show, yeah, I show up. Hey, it can show up prestige. Yes. It can promiscuity. Yes. And then love for the woman with woolly for money. <laughs> <laughs> it can show up everything, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, real talk, man. Pick up for the self. Real talk. Mm, Thank love, you, Donald. Love, love, man. All right, cool. <laughs> So clear no, as I wrong. as far I was saying perfect, before, you know. yeah. But as, as I was saying before, and yes. Dan Dan tap it right yes. here. You get me? You are telling me as the Dan Dan said to you, mm -hmm. right? You will lie down in another bed there, in another house there. Yes. And feel comfortable lying near your bed, right? And you know, say so the ass waste money. Buy the bed where you lie down, pan. 
and build a little two room where you're in a, and you don't know, feel guilty about it, no, none at all. Me don't feel guilty. I did not know. After you find out, I did not know before I get the money to put on my two room and my nice, nice king size bed. I did not know. And so you lie down there and not thinking of yourself and say, Boy, the money that you net back with it, uh, 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 and the jugs where they get the horse, I'm going to win this them. money. No, 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 no. Yeah? Me not think about no money that time. I um, mean, I think about it. Oh, you deceive me, and you're yeah. lying. You're wicked. Me no yeah. want to talk back to you for some of my life. Me no want to see you. Yeah. Me no want nothing to do with you because you're all wicked. So you win the money. You're good with the money, but you're just mal. Is your friend? Yes, I'm a friend that. Yeah. I'm a friend that. Then your friend make you win the money. Lie and wicked. Your tell friend me, make you win the money. Tell me straight up. Let me decide. Yeah. Say I want it. I don't want if it. I'm, if me deny your position, me deny your position. If I'm like me, that just go back to Paris Council me and not get them demolish the house. I'm keeping the house. I'm keeping my house. It's my house. And I did not know. <laughs> Caller on the 453. <laughs> Hello, Caller. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night, night. Soji. Yes, Soji, man. Me, me can't make the program done and me not, me not put it in my bit. Yes, yes Soji. Soji. No one have to big up all of the father of them. Really? Yeah, dog. every time. Respect. Including um, Donald will look like him. He's about six father. Yeah. But or more, father. yes. But a, but a still father. Yeah. Pick up. Pick him up. Yes. Now, prestige, yeah. yeah, me about 12. Prestige. <laughs> you're not pres bad at prestige. Yeah, man, me about 12. 12, me gone. Shongi is going to deal with your case, yeah? Well, that's right. Because after the man single out Shongi as a father earlier on, <laughs> you're going to ask the man if Shongi is a father. He <laughs> asked the question, yeah. too. Right. Yeah. And 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 Chung, you're gonna deal with your case for that. Yeah. My, with my case. Yeah. May I uh -huh. listen for me back, Brad? You know. No, no. Last week. Yeah. Last week. Mm -hmm. After the lady, you met me last in a week. Mm -hmm. Because after the lady said to you, say. Yeah. It's all night till daylight. Yes. <laughs> you. You go on like say you know here, like you get death. Continually hack the man the way. And you know she come back Monday. She come back Monday for the program, you know. And they talk to me about it, you know. I ask me. I say how pretty you just get deaf all around. She asked me what's stuck in my throat. Cat got his tongue. <laughs> Cat got his tongue <laughs> last week. Yeah. So uh, me just, me just want to be going up before, before the program. Does. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. Every time, Soji. Real Soulja. talk, yeah? Yes, Real man. Talk. Please. Thank you, Soji. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Oh, you know, I forgot to tell Soji I was over there today, but I didn't stay long at all. I lost at a spin. Mm. So I didn't get to find you. But the next time I'm back, which is pretty soon, Over where is Soji? Where is Soji from? St. Thomas. Oh, yeah, oh. White Hall. Oh, all oh. right. <clears throat> Caroline says, Many people will do anything for money mm. because they see immediate benefits. Mm -hmm. What about morals and ethics? Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm. But just feel say, mm -hmm. when at the end of the day, we may have the money. Mm. Sorry, I must can lie down and sleep mm -hmm. where nobody else is seeing me. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows what I'm thinking about me. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I think. It doesn't matter I how you get the money. Hold on, man. At the end of the day, mm. I should be true to self. Yeah. To thine own self be true. That's one of my mantras in life. Mm -hmm. So whatever I do, if I can look and say, well, may I break the rule for this moment and I'm feeling okay about it. If I can't feel that good about it, I am not going to do it. Because when nobody is seeing me and hearing me, me I hear myself and see myself. When nobody's in my head and can read my mind, me I hear my own self, I talk to, my, talk to myself in my head. So for me, that is very, very important. I'm not supposed to do something and my conscience kill me. And I can't tell nobody, I can't talk about it. But in myself, I feel awful, like I break some, some rule or some boundary. I'm going to feel that badly about it. I am not supposed to go through that. So me sit down now, me and my bridging them, you know, are but some friends. But to each his own, because everybody has a different conscience and a different right, mind. Right, right. I mean sit down, and me and my bridging them sit down. And we did sit down and a gamble, right? You, the woman, you know, you're a Christian. So-called Christian, home. You get so me? So-called Christian, which one? Well, put it, way, put it that way, put it that way, put it that way, put it anyway, you get me? Because 
you know, so we're not Christian and we're not still not Christian see me because you know what I mean we do things out there, but we bypass that. Miss Long remember bridge with them, <laughs> right? After we sit down. And we are gamble all night. Yes. We are gamble, you know. Yes. Win money. Yeah. Come home, put this in your hand. And say, Cleo, do what you want to do with this. You know, ask gamble. me. You yeah, talk about like play domino or just yeah, gamble. Play poker. card, play domino. You see, once you go play your card and your domino, your poker or whatever, and you win the money. But me a thief in the game. And you don't know. Come me not tell them something and but me tell them I gamble, but a thief, me thief well, in the game. Once you not tell me me good. Eh? Once you not tell uh, me. After me, me good. give you this money, you know, and you take this money, you got your collection, you do your show. Mood I want to know if you go back to the pastor to pay my money. No, I'm not. We got your collection. No. You got your collection. Pray at church that we bless and, it and yeah. it's sanctified. And you use it and you buy TV. Nice thing. You furnish out your house. Yes, ma'am. Set up the house nice. Yes, and me, come on, and I say to you, say, sit down one night now. I may attack and I say, you know, baby, you know, say, the other night when I carry the money come gear, mm. right? I give the 600 out. toes when I carry come gear. Mm. You know, say, me and them boy sit down and I gamble. And me I tell us, boy, the thief with all I give. Me thief the money, me no man have all three, four cards put one side and all I play, you know. And I saw me get for winning all the world for money. I'm not feeling one way, I said to you, say, eh? what that not good, man? You, can't, you don't have to do that. Eh? Oh, if you're a friend, them. Where are you going to give me back the money? No, give back what? You mad? You mad? So what the difference with it? No, if man. The man with the ass race. The ass race, no. Yeah. We know straight up front, say. Yeah. The ass. A, a, a so illegal, you're going to malice me? Illegal, something you're talking You're malice me? That's the husband of the house? Yeah. But the ass. That's more I know. With what? the gambling. With the gambling? Yes. No, I'm going to vex for a while. Vex for a while? Yeah, part of me. But the bex. man, where do, do, do administrate no, me go vex and tell you, say, look, what you're doing all right. It's yeah. all right. You have to stop it. Yeah. You know, if you do it. But because me and your husband make it now go malice me. Right. Me might eh? tell you because I'm an unlock shop little bit. Yeah, but, but you if, if after I after a while they come around back. Yeah, if, me go if I your friend win the money now and carry two hundred and a thousand come get because you're a good friend, right? And he tell you that you would have malice him. He tell me before. He tell you when he give you a couple 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 weeks after he tell you that after you don't spend it. Me, me vex. You don't malice your friend. Me vex him, but malice him for a good probably a good good while. Depending on the situation. Because if the situation is one where he puts me into problem. Mm -hmm. You know, putting no problem. Me, 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 me vex. Come on, like that deception. That deception that. Why you couldn't tell me before? Say, yo, my youth, my, mm. my girl, you know, so me go deal with a thing mm. with the eyes. Yeah. One kind of backdoor thing when I'm supposed to go on. I don't have to tell you that. I have to tell you that. I just tell you, say, you're going to win you money. Don't tell me that. Yeah. I can't tell you that. I tell you that. Before and then I hear afterwards. Say, yeah, you win I'm money. Report so when you win money. That so and so ours was mm -hmm. drugged and. Mm -hmm. feel bad man. You, are, you win money, you are feel comfortable with the money where you get in your hand. I feel and when you sit down and explain to you now. With all me get it. You still have feel. I love the money. Yeah. But me have feel uncomfortable you now. Still after. Go, you still have feel. You still have feel good. You still have feel good because you know so you still have the house. You, you know do not with the house. You still have it same way that you do. You live. Me not coming. You home get me. Me not. I mean, right? I'm not so you still have feel good within yourself. I'm not calling a municipal co corporation. I'm not calling them, and I'm not giving back the furniture or giving them away. I'm gonna mm. keep them and enjoy them. Oh. And I say, Lord, mm. you know I did, did not know about this theft. Yeah. Before now. God for the Lord. So I just ask Him to pray. I just mm. pray over them. Yeah. And make Him forgive. You call for Him. Can you well comfortable and all right in our way? So you call for Him. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Now I say, Cleo, I am not giving up the house either. Not at all. Hey, um, call for the Lord after you come. <laughs> <laughs> oh let's boy. see the box up again, Cassidy. Oh, oh boy, the easy at the all. <laughs> when considering the odds and mm. if the price is right, is there anything that you would do even though you know you probably shouldn't from a moral and legal standpoint? Please share. Can you think of any standard or, or beliefs that you have broken all because of a relationship? And if you were to put a monetary value on your worth, how much are you willing to accept if someone is to make you an offer in confidence for one night out? <coughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. I can't put any money, money to my worth because I wouldn't know what to put. I am a bundle of uniqueness, specialness. Oh! Um, yeah. 
Yeah. A variety ness. Oh. A whole heap of different ness. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't even tell myself I can put a yeah. money to it because whole I, have seen, ness ness. I have seen less yeah. putting value putting value to it. Yeah. I've seen seen way less value. Yeah. yeah. And then they are putting money to that. Yeah. So me you now with my creativity, mm. the kind of mind I may have, mm -hmm. the good heart of me have. Yeah. The way I think about other people. Me, me can't tell me I can put on value to that. So if I choose to say in confidence be out with you for a night, mm -hmm. don't come try to use money mm -hmm. as a means of getting me to do that. Mm -hmm. I must decide, say, there's something about this man mm -hmm. that I am going to want to explore or see for myself or get to know. Mm -hmm. So I will choose or not choose to go out with this man for that one night. Don't mm -hmm. come put no money mm -hmm. to it like you yeah, try to buy me because mm -hmm. I am not drawn and fancied by you wheeling money mm -hmm. at me. Mm -hmm. I am not. Yeah, but, but what happened if you are in a situation at the time when that person are wheeling that money at you, but you, right, within yourself and frame of mind, right, you didn't... You need the money? You need the money, yes. You, you, see, you, you so need the money, but, you, but you know, yeah. we'll tell you no. So but you never, you, you never go out with that in your mind. But you need the money. Yeah, but I don't think I'm in love about clear now because you see, I will meet a man mm -hmm. who have money waga waga, mm -hmm. and take, guess what? I'm more afraid mm -hmm. than if I meet you with broke pocket. Yes. Trust me, I'm afraid. Because mm -hmm. then the man me and say, yo, I don't know where I get this money from. Yes. I don't know how I come by it. Why are you worry about no, people and no, 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 no. their money? I saw my roll. No, 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 I saw my yeah. roll. I'll meet a man who has a fancy big yeah. push down car yeah. or a van. Mm -hmm. And I'm more ready to start run because me and say, mm -hmm. You're, you're the next statistics. Yeah. I don't want to be the next statistics. So you feel comfortable I, with a man with a donkey? And you can't climb up on the back. No, my youth, you go back. Are you gone? You can't <laughs> dunk it too slow. Dunk <laughs> it too slow. You're gone way back in the primitive. You're you going with bicycle then. You're going with bicycle with it then. Bicycle. Because you don't want to go for no yeng yeng. Bicycle, because they make move too fast. Bicycle man. then. You know, we're going to tea break here, yeah, man. Bicycle. It's now 11. They're supposed to tell a cat. <laughs> Once again, it's now 11.31, we soon come back. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And what? May I tell you? We soon come here, man. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. People, I did you a monkey this attack. I mean, I tell you, see, this sat there. The party name, bring back the 90s. So, you know the thing, though. Chungi, what you have to say? Yes, people, we all about bring back the 90s. We give you soca, we give you reggae, we give you dancehall. Any genre you want, we give you straight from the 90s. Yeah, I want to think I want to joke him. When DJ Mookie a juggle and Chungi a go juggle, the quarantine now go normal. It's a go overload. It's a go crazy. It's a go sick. Remember, me telling you, this sat there, 90s. Is at its best. It's all about the double trouble party. 8 p.m. to midnight, right here on Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Tell them about the online link. You know when we say online now, you know for the Android phone, them, you can't download the app. For the iPhone, them, you can't go tune in radio. Bring back the 90s. Boom. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude.
We're back with you on Real Talk, and we're going to now hear the vox pop of what the people have to say on the streets. Anybody not broken because a relationship or somebody we now have none. All of us have got that root. All of us have been there, whether young, mega age, or old. As long as we have a relationship, we have been broken in it because 90% a people dating a, in a relationship a cheater a ve, you, the 10 percent where you find and some of the man would they don't know about it so you will we have been hurt and been broken by a relationship all we can testify to that <clears throat> me not no 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 level of standard and govern of, of monetary things over my life Yes, I'll accept mon monetary things, but there is no level of standard, no monetary things, no values, no nothing can come to my life uh, com compared to me. Me we accept stuff, yes, but I'm not like me. I go say, okay, me worth three hundred dollar, me worth four hundred dollar, me worth a thousand dollar. That cannot compare to me. I will accept, but I will not compare myself to no monetary, no host, no care, no nothing. Me no care when nobody wants to say. Me no, no, no put myself to no monetary worth. Cause me no, me no, I'm not for sale. And when you're on for sale, you go put yourself in monetary worth. Me no have no value, no value no the palm me. You understand? When you come on to monetary things, not that I don't want gifts and not that I don't love monetary things, but me not comparing it to me as any value. So who want to do that? Kudos to them, but not that's not for me. Real talk. For myself, no, in a committed relationship, I don't think there is no value I would place. A person could offer me for me to have a one night stand with them. Um, I think I been there done that so I want to be committed. So I don't want to um to 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 not able to look in my partner eye and say I've not sleep with anybody or I've not done any in, in anything. Um I cannot look in his eye and say no I am not cheated. I don't want to have to do with something like that. To look in his eye and can't um tell him up front that I've not cheated and feel guilty about it, right? So I don't think there is nothing no one can pay me for me to to um to sleep with them or to be with them for one night. No. I've been there, for example. Even right now, person have asked me um, to be the person. Tell them not. No, I'm committed. I'm just committed right now. So maybe because I love this person, I don't know. But I just don't want to go in a relationship and 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 and, and in this relationship and be in my my, my I can't live with my conscience. There is no monetary value for you to go out with me. No monetary value. You can't pay me for that. You understand? You could have millions, billions, trillions. You can't pay me for that. If you go out with me, me have to like you. And me have to really want to go out with you. If you go out with you. You understand? Yeah, I'm not into them things there. I'm not worried. You can't pay me for the use of my body. No, sir. For you forget my body, you have to like me. I'm going to like you. I'm going to want you. So there's no monetary value upon my being with you for the night. If I like you, I'm going to go out with you. I will leave things. Because, you know, the first instance, them teach you that sex out of marriage is wrong. Yeah, I mean, I have sex from my 10, 10 year old. So I start broke all of the rules from my 10. You see what I say? So I don't know nothing about keeping the moral standards correct because we start out when we're young and there's other things that we do for society that look upon as being morally incorrect yeah but it's one thing i thank god for we never kill no man you see, man? no we not take life because i'll do away break hearts and um, our hearts has been broken we not take no man nobody life you see, man? so i forgive god thanks for that 
Yeah, man. Big up the item himself. Styles of him. Real talk. Indeed. Thank you, Vox Poppers. Real talk. Um, you know, looking at the first part of the Vox Pop again, and two of the key words, key terms that struck me again is <clears throat> the word moral and legal standpoint. So there are persons who, from a moral standpoint, who would more readily break the rule if the price is right. Yeah. But then there are those who, from a legal standpoint, who would as well. Mm -hmm. But when I look at it, if I were to choose one of those that I'm going to break um, the, 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 the norm for, if the price is right, mm -hmm. it would have to be my moral standpoint where I go and have to you know, deal with myself mm -hmm. and whether I'm going to cover over or deny the fact that I know I shouldn't have or just tell myself, say, okay, well, yeah, but I'm procrastinate or find reason for why I may do it. That's up, on, that's up to me now and my own conscience. So when I'll be willing to more take that approach, depending on what it is, by the way, mm -hmm. on a legal standpoint, mm -hmm. the no is 100% no, no. Because all I'm keep thinking about is my freedom. And if it is that this world to come to light, guess what? My freedom is at stake. I'm not giving that up. So I prefer to deal with my mind and my conscience and if somebody said to you, say, so why are you, whatever, 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 why did you do this? Me would deal with that psychological aspect of it because it would have been a case where I would have make up my mind, say, me I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And again, it still boils down to the degree of, the degree of intensity because there are certain things where morally, you know, it's going to kill me, morally, me not going to do it. But if there are things that you think that, you know, me can't give and take with that time, with a situation, you know, I might just, you know, do this. Mm -hmm. So, for example, a woman might find a guy, be, see a man who she really, really take, check for. She like him. But the man is taken. And you know so the man is taken mm -hmm. as a woman. Mm -hmm. And you find that you're having this attraction and this liking for this man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're, you're, you're interested in going out now and again with the man and that kind of thing. You can't see her so, too. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. in the back of your head now, I said, boy, I'm not really, really interested in the married man thing. Yeah? But then maybe somewhere you're saying, but he, he, he speaks to me in such a way and he makes me feel comfortable. So there are persons who, morally speaking, will give up that aspect of their viewpoint or their standpoint to, 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 to deal with that. But then when it come on to... So even though they, they know it's you know it's not really the right the ideal situ situation, mm -hmm. but we can't live with we can't live with dating him because he really treat me good and me feel good mm -hmm. around him and me gonna just use the facts and me feel good with him mm -hmm. makes me feel really special as a woman mm -hmm. and use that to cover over the facts say we mm -hmm. should not do this there mm -hmm. right? and and is that and is that money in my use right I just you just see him as an individual and just like him yeah yes. And <coughs> if it is that this man even comes with But money, you know, say married. Yes. So I'm, I'm, the point I'm making mm -hmm. is, from the moral <coughs> standpoint, mm -hmm. and let's use an example yes. from the moral standpoint, mm -hmm. from the legal standpoint, Fine. no, no yeah. matter what you have come to me with, with yeah. if legally mm -hmm. it no right, mm -hmm. and I saw when I know to myself, say, listen mm -hmm. to me, man, this can land in some deep waters. All right. But at, the, not going there. But at the same time, Right? And the legal part at the same time, right? You may sit down, you know, and you have a reason, you know. And you have your problem and you have pour it out I tell him. Mm. You get me I say? Why me in a situation, I have three months mortgage for my house, you know what I mean? And my car payment two months. Mm. Me kinda in at the back and him look away, you know. Talk, but yeah, at I the same time. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you know, XYZ and him said to you, say, well, <coughs> You know, um, I can help you. No problem about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can help you. And him do so boom. And put the funds in your hand. 
And when you put the funds in there and I say, yeah, go ahead and take care of what you have to take care of. That's mm -hmm. not a problem. You know, say nothing to you. Because you know, say, he's a businessman, you know. Mm -hmm. I've been business place, you know. Yes. But at the same time, in business place at the front. Uh -huh. In what he's doing. Yes. He never explain anything and tell you nothing like that, you know. Right? Mm -hmm. After you pay up your mortgage and you pay up your car payment, right? And you get extra to pay up your car payment for XYZ yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. And you pay up your yeah. car payment and your mortgage. Yeah. Two months in, ad, yeah, um, in advance, way, 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 and yeah. you know what I mean? And boom, you don't have to worry about that. And you and him, all right, and next week, you and him go out, you don't talk about anything like that. Mm -hmm. The other week, you and him go out, you don't talk about anything like that. Third week, no, you and him go out now. Boom, he mentioned to you and say, you know, <coughs> Cleo, you know, the other day, you know, when we, when the when money that we give you, mm -hmm. right? You know, see it, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I'm a tough, I put this in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and him give another little piece of a change and say, put mm -hmm. that in your pocket. You know that money that I gave you the other day, you know? <coughs> me and my virgin, them, you know what I mean? Go up and a little move and <laughs> I mean, I tell us, boy, we did the move again this week, you know, and the move just bust, you know what I mean? Oh. You know, we said away some things go there and we, 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 and the move just bust and X, Y, Z, you know? But it's just all about life, you know what I'm saying? And you say, what can I move that? Mm -hmm. And him explain to you and tell you, say, you know, a jug's money. Mm -hmm. You know, see it? A drugs money so you are saying that you're safe now. You go back to the mortgage people. They want to say, boy, listen up now. The money when me give for pay for my mortgage. I'm not going back anywhere. the money when me give for pay for me me care. Where are you going back? I am not going back. Where are you going? You're going to start talking. Start getting nervous and just no matter deal. Probably, probably I'll just cut him off. Yeah. As much as the money coming my way, I mean need the money. Good, you just cut him off because I can't. But I feel like living a fear and anxiety and stress. Yeah. yeah. We don't want that. But he might tell you say, Cleo, I'm out of this now. You know that was then. Mm. Boy, I can't convince me so easy about that. That was then, and he come and squeeze your little change in your hand. man keeps sound bone. We say yeah. all the time. So you're not going to believe him? You don't believe him? It's if hard to you. believe anything he says now mm -hmm. because he, in the beginning he omitted some information about That was then. But I know the problem is And he come now and say, boy, you know? It boils down to the kind of company where you all keep to your So man. the little change when you put in your hand, the little second change when you put in your hand, where you going to take your hand back? And you know, so no food that they know you want to go grocery. <laughs> go buy grocery. Uh, May you I see, that you? is where the moral part of my trip is. Yeah. Because, as you say, him say, boy, back then, he used to do that. Yes. And he reads, now you don't know if the truth is lime or tell, mm. or it's really so it go. Mm. I ain't clean now, or I not clean, you don't know. Mm. But as you say, mm. if the price is right and the food in the house, mm. how many persons would definitely accept it? Because you're looking at the bigger picture, which mm. is mm -hmm. the fact that they're hungry. Mm -hmm. And when people are in need, mm -hmm. morality for many mm -hmm. goes through the door. Okay, where the money I come from. Okay, where they come from. Mm -hmm. And whatever the, whatever the cost. Mm -hmm. But you said to and me before, you said to me before, if you find out, say the person, no. go rob a bank, you're not going to want that money there. No, I'm saying to you that there are people mm -hmm. who, when the price is right, mm -hmm. and when they're mm -hmm. hungry, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. morality is thrown to the door. Not tell me about people. I'm here, you're there, so no. No, no, no. <laughs> you, Use you, yeah, and, uh, yeah. All right, so you use say me. Me and you, I use we yes. as an example. Yes, but the, what I mentioned, I said to mm. you earlier too, that I look at the two worlds. Yes. Moral Mor standpoint yes. and legal. Legal standpoint, yeah. So there are certain things morally. Yeah. Where it cuts too deep for me mm -hmm. that I would not want to be a part of. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. There are other things now where it plays on the moral part of me. Mm -hmm. Because I'm thinking, all right. My um, belly. It's not something where no, I really want to do. Mm -hmm. But then if I were to look at now, what mm -hmm. are my circumstances Dances. and how great they are, mm -hmm. and if <coughs> this will not pinch my moral fabric <laughs> too big, yeah, 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 yeah. I just might. Yeah. Again, it yeah. has to be dependent yes. on how much it's going to affect. Me yeah. as a person, like I'm a big girl, I don't gonna sleep mm. and what me think about. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. After one night, couple of night, couple of days, couple of weeks after that, that gone out of your mind. But you see this money thing we talk yeah. about, you have some serious cases which where people mm -hmm. need in need. And they'll be working at a place and they will rob the place. Yeah. Sometimes I greed, mm -mm. sometimes I need for true. Put it like some of them bar. Well, the bartender them are working on the bar. <laughs> so them have ah. they, 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 they have hey. them partner for peer. Uh -huh. Right? They have them partner oh, for peer. Yeah. Have them so partner for have them peer. Means. They have them picnic for saying gas school. They only make seven or eight thousand dollars a week. Well, this is one and thing they I can't can tell cover you. everything and the so baby daddy is not there. 
to squeeze my dollar, come back to the baby daddy again to squeeze my dollar. Let me tell you we do anything in any way. Then go dip in the money. A week time, then just a dip in the money yeah, at the time. That's, I will never do that. You and I will be in the house. Mm. And you come in with your waga waga money mm -hmm. and put that down. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee you. Mm. I mean, you live. This girl, mm. the level of pride I may have certain way, mm -hmm. I will not touch your money. That is, that, that, a lady like you, no me like in my house. Let me tell you what I will Dana touch. Luda say, Dana Luda say, Cleo, you're a nice woman. Let you're a good let woman. Let me tell you what I will touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will need some coins. To get something or to buy something. Yeah. And if I see your coins, yes. let us say it's yeah. in your coin pan. And if I need some coins, I will take up the coins. If you're not touch my paper money, let me coin them. No, a different a something. Money. No, a different something. A money, M O N E Y. If I want, if I want to go buy something, yeah. And I see on twenty dollar coin, and I need it to make up. Then if you say a fifty dollar paper, did you not? No, to not showing the paper. No. And what the and difference? If I say to you, look, can I get the hundred dollars on this table? <coughs> no, I'm not troubling it. If if you're in, the, if I'm in the car and yeah. I'm buying something yeah. and I'm in your car and I and, I, and I'm short twenty dollars, thirty dollars, and I, you have it there, I will take it up and I'll pay with it. Suppose me have fifty dollars there in a paper. You know, I touch your paper if money. If you know, say it there, I'm a want it. I'm gonna say, look here now. I'm gonna take the fifty dollars, the hundred dollars, the thousand dollars, whatever it is. I'm not. What I'm saying. What a pen? Wait, 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 wait. I'm just telling you about the moral, yeah, yeah. the moral pinch. What a pen? Yeah. Certain things. What, what a pen? If you want, you, you, we are home with the home, mm -hmm. and you want the money, and the money is there, the paper money is there, and the money is there, and you take out of it, but you did not say anything to me at the time, like ask me for anything. And when you go and buy, where you have to buy, you come back. What money do you have to right? out? You come How back. How much money so you have to? Yeah. That's why a girl like me I can always have our money for herself, you know, man. So I'm not going to your things, you know, man. Then so man if you ask money. me, well, yeah, that's so nice. But if it is that I need something that you have there, yeah. I must be able to call you and say, um, Louis, you know, say, me see you have some money here and mm -hmm. I can go on the road and whatever, whatever. Me can borrow X and Y and Z until me come back. Mm -hmm. Me now just go in there so because the moment you come and see that money different, in a different way, it doesn't draw in front of you say something off. Mm -hmm. Cause why couldn't I just tell you that I'm going to use the money? Mm -hmm. Why do I need to go into it first and don't tell you? You need to be aware because I hear your and you know what you put on the air. Mm -hmm. So me just move with it now it's going to look away. Mm -hmm. Me don't like that. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it, it has a, it has to do with probably your your relationship. So you are call me and ask me, or you call me and tell me. Or I first. might I might yeah, I might call you and say, yeah. you have some money here. Yeah. You're going to use it right away, or you can can I borrow something like come back up later or you know, just communicate, mm -hmm. say, I'm going to use the money or touch the money or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you have the money where you come home with and you yeah. put it on your bedside drawer yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And you go and bed. Or uh, whatever, and make a chub it and take out some push in my purse. Mm. No, 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 mm. no, 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 no. That is what we call it stealing. <laughs> Are you a thief? Are you a thief? You know what yeah. happened to me once? Not to me, but with me, so mm. to speak. I had a hundred and something dollars on the counter in the kitchen some years ago. My daughter was a teenager and she came in. Ah, uh, I don't know what happened, but she, the money was no longer there. There are only two of us in the house. And she did not say to me, she was, she was asking for the hundred dollars. And I came and I was like, I left some money here, so you know. And, and I think it was af days after, and I said, tell me something, what happened to the money that was on? And she said, mom, let me take it up, let me use it. I said, no, you stole it. And she was offended because she said, but mom, I said, no, 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 no. If I put all money there, you don't know whose money it is for one. And you sit there, you don't even ask me, mommy, can I take the hundred dollars? Or say to me, mommy, it's hundred dollars on the counter, you know, so me use it, or me can't get it. Mm -hmm. And you just use it. I'm not saying so anything. As far as me concerned, prestige a thief, a thief. And I said that to her, and she was just so upset and offended and vexed at me. I call her thief because, and I teach her thief the money. And she was saying she not thief the money. But in my view, it's stealing the money. So maybe I'll tell me some thief the $20 coin too. Maybe you're going to say that. But I think 
the bigger money is them and something me not me not me not go there me so what the difference in the coin the difference <laughs> coin is <laughs> I don't tell you to take me kind them out here <laughs> and you go in there and take them out <laughs> what's the difference I know you're gonna say that <laughs> oh what's boy. the difference <laughs> here this one from Donald <laughs> <laughs> I bought one of my child's mothers and when I lost my kidneys she left me citing many different reasons but she was only with me because of the money even the man that she is with no it's because of the money no morality at all ouch ouch let's go back to the vox pop mm. tough one donna right tough one um can you think of a standard or belief that you have broken all because of a relationship oh yes Oh yes, there are things I say I would I would have never done. Mm -hmm. Like I've learned never to say never. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's there are times when I say, oh, this can't happen to me because I see some women going through X, Y, and Z, and I not doing this. Mm. And I have found where yes, it has happened where you say you would never settle. A man could not expect you to do certain things, and you do it because it's no sir. I'm going to not control me a certain way and not get me to do certain things. And, you know, you find that there are times when, as, as uh, I think it was Chan who said it, mm. there are times when all of us at some point get broken. Mm -hmm. And we're not even realizing it. Whether it's love we love too much, whether we are infatuated, whether we just lose our sense of judgment mm. because we're caught up. But there are times when people have really just stepped below where they would expect to step. Take a bigger step downwards as opposed to an upward one. And then when you beat up on yourself and say, boy, oh, me make this happen to me. Oh, me forgot to make in go they go have one baby and come back in to me as wife and me take that the child there. There are women who would, who would tell you before that happened that, oh, any man me have mm -hmm. and then go away to one baby and baby, mm -hmm. another woman have gone, me gone. Yeah. But now stay with him. Mm -hmm. they, they will say that. Yes. And when it happens, it's a whole different kettle of fish. So you can't say there's something wrong with the person. But at the same time, probably the person is looking at the greater risks. If I go, how will I be better off? As opposed to staying, because he's my husband. We have the children together. We have all this family assets and whatever. When I go, what will happen to me? Will this woman come, come take over? So there are people who will think of what it is that's going to affect them more when they make a decision. Mm -hmm. So that decision they will make, right, as to whether they're going to stick around or not stick around or um, break their standards or beliefs. It's based on really and truly how they're going to benefit in the long run from it. That will determine if a person actually, you know. So, so there are people who um they break it they go against the standard yeah for a particular reason but i think in the long run is the reason is because they are seeing how best they can better off themselves so they might not want to do this particular thing but maybe they love the man that much maybe she love the man that much maybe she she that full fool or him that full fool i don't know yeah. Wait. I don't know, but like some like some of those um, women where say boy they will never cheat. Yeah, Put or men like who that. say they will never cheat. Well, uh, we not cheat. We not cheat. We not cheat. Yeah, I know, right? Cheat. Yeah. Can you think of any standard of that you have men broken not cheat. all because of a relationship? Mm. And then what in the relationship? What in the relationship that made you break the standard? Mm. Like I said, sometimes some people get really caught up, you know. And then vision clouded, you know. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, you can't see nothing again anymore. Once they're in with the person, they lose all sense of judgment, all sense of right and wrong. It's gone. Mm -hmm. And they'll do whatever it takes to please the person. That is crazy. That kind of crazy. Oh. Yeah, man. Mm. Crazy. Mm. But whatever standards or beliefs you want to break for a relationship, you must be able to live with it. And as I said to thine own self, you must be true. So, is there any value on you? Tell me. A woman can buy you. Just no. say yes and done. No. But now you say you want one with money. I don't buy them, I buy me. 
Oh, what, am I, what am I do then? They're not buying me. If, if they have, have money, money and you're willing, they have wealth. Hold on, a man. If right? you have money, you want to go out with her. You're willing to go out with her. Yeah. You're telling me, say, she's not yeah. buying, she buying you? No. Is what she doing? She not buying me. What she do? She not buying me. What she doing? She have money and she love me. And she, she want to go out you. with me. Eh, eh, eh. Why you take away the love from it? No, I know to have the woman money and push up in, in up for me face. You, you take away the love from it. You just taking away the love from it now and have it one way. Because you want to put it one way and a money. Press D. Yeah. The woman love me and she have money. You say you want a woman with money. Right. So you are going to love this woman because of the money? No. No. Sure. No. I'm going to love her money where she have. Oh but I'm not going to love her because of the money. Oh, so you don't love her because of the money you love? No, I oh. love the money where she have. So she can use that once she wants to then. She can use right? that money to buy and you're going to pretend to love her then. I love her for who she no, is. No, stop but, that lie. But I love stop her money lie. where she have. Love her for who she is because she's rich. <coughs> because she's a loving person. No, no. Very nice young lady. No, contradictory. But she have money. No, contradictory. But she have money. You love her because she no, have money. No, you want me to say, where you... <laughs> Where you I no. say you want me to if say a man wants a woman who, who only has money because he no, can't do no bro no, 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 listen, listen, right? <laughs> Where the hell may I go take up a woman now? We don't have a dollar and me say it all the time. Don't have a dollar, me don't have a dollar. Right? And stress all for myself, more than all me has stress already. I stress out the woman again. You're a gold. You can't woman. work like that. You're a gold. You get me? Man. So how much money she needs to have? She has to, has to be worth how much so? She has to be wealthy. M money that like we can just live like she cannot until we reach 90, 95, 100, 150, 200. Like a, like a, like a million dollars. She cannot, she cannot One million, million what? Jamaican dollar? <laughs> eh? <laughs> One million Jamaican dollar. I tip that man. When you go, go, go sit down no and restaurant man and I eat man. No sir. I tip that. Uh, I but can't it's just a tip. Press Not about One million Jamaican dollar. You can't even buy two good pair of shoes to net back with one million dollars. You'll be a cat dollar. No, sir. Eh, eh. Well, if you know? you're out there and you have a monetary value, because yeah. there are people who have worth, you know, mm -hmm. they have monetary worth. Those yeah. rich people, those businessmen yeah. who mm -hmm. have their big millions and billions, mm -hmm. they have worth. Yeah. So if they can't have monetary worth and they have money, what says we will not have the money? What is our worth? Can there be any price put on us? Last call because we're at the end of the show. Yes, Donald. You know, it's a minute believe nothing with prestige. Just well, all right. <laughs> all right, Donald. Prestige, I'm a friend for years. All right, Donald. And it's a man where <laughs> you ever hear the action speed flow that I wear. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you say you do already do buy a buy, buy, buy a relationship. Listen. Yeah, you hear? Prestige. All right. Prestige. Yes, sir. You never stay like me when buy no relationship. Me? Yeah, you never buy no. No, you know not tell me they have money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have in, you know, have as much as you did have back in them times. Yeah. But you still have some left. Uh, where is it? I mean, I think. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, yeah. I think. Yeah. You have to put yourself mm -hmm. in a position. Mm -hmm. Where somebody can buy you. No, no, nobody can buy me, Donald. Mm -hmm. Nobody can they buy can me. They can buy you. No. So the, so they the can. woman with the money. Yeah. They can. The woman with the money. Yeah. Where you are trying to get now. I me, I choose she and I buy she, I buy me. I buy she, I buy you. She not going to look for me and, 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 and come put. I buy she, I buy you. You're choosing I'm her. I me, I choose her. He chooses her for her to buy him. No. I me, I choose her, Donald. <laughs> I choose her. Yes. All right, my boss. I'm near choose her. We're going to leave it at that. Yes. Right there, sir. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. All right. Oh, my you get goodness. Me? Oh, boy. I know, I know she's me and I choose me. Are you choose her? To come use her money and buy me. I'm near choose oh, her. Oh, whoa. Are you yeah. here, sir? Yeah, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> another real talk has ended. Of course, we've come to the end of the show tonight. It was indeed a pleasure serving you and working with you. To all my first-time callers who call in tonight, big up yourself, yeah? And remember, the show is posted afterwards on YouTube. So make sure you check it out tomorrow and tell a friend to tell a friend about Styles FM, your very own Portland-based radio station. Of course, internationally known. 
All right, so on behalf of my co-host, DJ Prestige, this is your girl, Lady Cleo, signing out for another week. I'm glad I was able, we were able to make someone's night. We were able to edutain you throughout a 